Okay, boys. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we need music. Music. Okay. Here we go. Step one. Step one. Now, you may ask, what the hell? Why why is the background all all gone? Well, well, my friends. Freaking give me a second, okay? <laughs> because I need something a little bit special. Where the where, where am I? I think I'd be more prepared. <gasps> Where'd I go? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. This is not a new model. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. This is just my, my playlist. Don't, don't mind that. <laughs> I'm trying to get my mix right. Turn down the music a little. Like that already. I look good in the corner. Perfect. All right, gamers. <laughs> hello, FR. I already said hello. Yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering. Hello, AT. Ayo, what's poppin'? Weaver! <gasps> Weaver, you have the, the fancy, the fancy one. The rainbow. <laughs> Congratulations. Tanjubi <laughs> omerito. Being here a year and single-handedly funding my bad decisions. <laughs> Okay, so, I know it's a day late, but I was working yesterday, so I couldn't, I was so mad when they told me I had to come in. Oh, oh my god, the real Spamton. Hello, hello. <laughs> but anywho, I want to rank the Humsa characters. I want to say my hot takes and every awful little opinion and or very cold take, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of my takes are pretty average about Homestuck, but it'll be fun anyway. I did come dressed for the occasion, not just because, it, hold on, I want to see more, put, put more of the breath out there. Not just because I'm using my scuffed <laughs> Homestuck model I made, but in real life, I'm wearing a Nepeta cosplay jacket. <laughs> it has a tail and, and the, the horns and everything. <laughs> It's a little cringe, but you know what? I'm free. <laughs> Laura Levy. Wait, do they have the same class size? Or am I missing something? <gasps> like ass. <laughs> but yes, okay. Cat, whenever you're ready, you can come on in. <laughs> Out loud. There she is. There she is. Hold on, wait, let me turn you down. You're a, li a little loud. There we go. I figured we'd, we'd double time these hot t I need someone to argue with other than chat. Nepeta could never be cringe. You're so fucking right. She's based. <laughs> based as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this tier list um, has literally every fucking every fucking homesick character on it. It even includes Celeborn and Calliope's parents for some reason, who only show up like vaguely as a concept to like explain how uh, cherubs reproduce. So I, you know, it's hard to decide. So I found a, uh, like a, a spinny wheel that has almost the same ones, almost the same amount of these guys. So we'll use that at first to pick which character we're gonna talk about because I feel like getting, just doing these first is gonna be too sad. And starting from the bottom, uh, it's gonna be annoying having to scroll back and forth. So we'll just do it randomly. Really wanna start wearing oversized colored lab coats unironically? You know what? Chase your dreams that far. We don't judge here. Oh my God, wait, my lame kid is now weird. Oh my God. Uh, na, 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 na. There we go. Okay, good. So, we did spin the wheel already, accidentally. And our first character, oh, you reset it? Okay, never mind. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. <laughs> She's going. Oh my God, perfect timing. Oh. 
Oh, Aradia. Okay, we're starting base. We're starting base. Okay, okay. I feel like Aradia. According, oh, we probably should have gone over the categories first. Can't hear them? Okay, hold on. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Turning everything up a little bit. Say something, cat. How's that? <laughs> Delayed responses. That's a little sad. <laughs> but finally, someone who helps me with the tech support. Already doing better than everyone else. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Let me go have a look see. Did I Oh do? my god, I didn't fucking I could have sworn I did that. I didn't. Okay, say something now. What did I do? Now you're it wasn't wrong. it wasn't you, honey. Don't worry. It was me being a dumbass. <laughs> I'm crying. I thought I already I, I literally to... went to do it, but I think I didn't do it just in case you did accidentally unmute. But now we're good. Now we're good. No, I I'm being silent. You're silencing I'm me. Silencing her. You. I'm putting her in. Mons, ban that guy. <laughs> no. No. Okay, so we we spun the wheel. We got a radio. I don't know where I'm gonna put her yet. Hold on, let me put her here, because I forgot to go mm -hmm. over the tiers. So we do have two already set up. Uh, the mayor and Vriska. <laughs> we will talk yep. about them both when they get here, but we know where we're, where they're going. Vriska is just. <laughs> We're not arguing, but the rest of them. So up top, this isn't even necessarily in like an exact order because these are like categories of how I think about these characters. You know, it starts off with lives in my head, rent fucking free, which could be good or bad. It just means I think about them a lot. Okay. Yeah. Baby girl, self-explanatory. Baby girl. Then we got mm, Slay, which means they're cool, but you know, they're just kind of around doing cool shit, but like kind of in the background. Let me go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're like they're not bad. They're just like, all right. Slightly <laughs> meh. Yeah, they're they're like they're, leaning towards good, but very mid. <laughs> they they're not they're not slaying. That's yeah. The they're thing. definitely they not slay. slay. They don't slay. They don't serve cunt. They're just there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Vasca. Exactly. Then we got the honk category, which is still mid, but this time we're leaning more towards negative, where we're like. Hmm, all right, this mm. guy. Okay, then we got no thanks. We're just like, no, no, no. Why is, I don't know if you can hear that. My brother is yelling about something. I don't know what, he just got back from work. So probably something about that. Then we got the uh, uh, good category. That's also, I feel like a lot of these are very self-explanatory. And then scum of the earth. I think we all know what that is. I think we're all good. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're working with here. So Aradia, love her. Slay. That's what slay. I'm thinking. You know, slay. Again, yeah. like this isn't necessarily, these three are a little bit at the same level for me. These are just categories yeah. of top tier, you know? Scum of the earth, Cronus, exactly. See, you get it. <laughs> no, blah, yeah, you thinking... know, you're so right. Hold on. Erg is now blah in all caps. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Make it the home. When I saw Radia, I was thinking baby girl or slay, but I feel slay goes better. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have baby girl vibes. She's too girl boss, you know? Yeah, she's too girl boss. She's too badass. She gets shit done. Made of time, she's there to maintain the timeline and make sure shit is going correctly as it should. Baby girls are a little more, of, kind of more of a failure. Damn. So that's why I'm saying she's like, hmm, slay. Okay. That's pretty slay. good one. Spin that wheel. <laughs> All right. The girl boss, you're right. Well, Terezi might be a little, a little higher on that. Terezi might be her. On the girl boss. All right. Should I make it right, go? You know, right. I'm gonna make this girl boss. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Who is it? It's it's uh it's D Dirk Strider. Already? Well, I think yes. we both know where we want to put the Dirketh and Strider. Yeah. Right, right. This has before, been. Before we do this, before we do this, before we okay. do this, okay, what, okay. what are your thoughts? My thoughts are Dirk thoughts? Strider are what many are and on? complicated. <laughs> What are your thoughts on, on the Dirk? Oh my god. <laughs> so, Dirk and Strider. Just to let y'all know, I am going to be including in my judgments the... Oh my god, this is a little loud. Turn that down a little banger. Anyway, this is going to include, at least in part, the epilogues in Homestuck 2. <laughs> which, Dirk is an interesting little creature in there. I, honestly, I love him. 
but like I hate him. I want to pick his brain apart and see what the fuck is going on in there. The Megiddos are great. There's a single Megiddo I don't like. Damn straight, baby. Girl yep. bosses all the way down. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. Hmm. Now, my experience with with with, with Dirk Tholomew, right? The Dirk Tholomew. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Well, okay. I remember when reading Hosek and we were, you know, doing doing the thing. Mm -hmm. I, I love I love him very much. Mm -hmm. I, I I was like, okay, okay, I like him. <laughs> okay, Prince of Heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Girl, you outed yourself with your fugi. <laughs> no, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, keep going, keep going. Okay, I, I was like, okay, I like him, and I'm like, ooh, I love the drama, I love the angst, you yeah, know? The, the teen angst with all the alpha kids, but like, Dirk especially, because he's such a self-sacrificing little bitch. <laughs> yep, yep. And then, I and then what was it? And then, I told you that freaking, I got homestuck dreams, bro. <laughs> Look who like, hasn't had a homestuck dream or two, okay? Like, let's be real. <laughs> Where he where he showed up in my dreams yeah. and I was like, oh no, motherfucker oh. has transcended timelines and shows up in our dreams. Yeah, I'm very glad to have not had a Dirk dream since Pester Quest dropped. I think. Well, <laughs> I had the Dirk dream when we were like in the, when we were doing the, the yeah Homestuck doing stuff. doing the Homestuck for for the new and uninitiated here. <laughs> Brain Ghost Dirk real? Yes, that's why he's in our heads. And yeah, which I think at, at this point, I think it's fair enough to just put him in rent free. This has been a meme yep. between us two since I, okay, I literally read Homestuck, most of Homestuck out loud to her because most of the time she doesn't like have time to be reading. She's like working on art and shit. And I'm just a loser who <laughs> likes voice <laughs> acting and making people get into really weird shit that I like. Listen, she does a good job. I, I she did a great job. I commit to and, the fucking okay. bit. I'll have you know. <laughs> yes. No. Now he. Now here's. Now whether or not it was a good thing that she got me into home, <laughs> we'll leave that up to you guys to decide. But um, my mm. my my class spec unfortunately ended up matching a little too much to the to this Prince of Heart man. That it's wasn't bad. intentional. It just kind of happened, unfortunately. Homestuck what dreams real. What does that real. say about me as a person? That's up to you guys. <laughs> read the multiple essays we've read about class acting and you can piece it together yourself. <laughs> Look, yeah. Kat can also attest to this. Back in college, uh, my class back used to be Page of Heart, which was basically just a Dirk Jake love child. It was not pretty. <laughs> I've never <laughs> been happier to undergo character development and get out of that stage of my life. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, Dark Strider has never appeared in your dreams. You're so lucky, bro. <laughs> yeah. He sucks. No, okay. Shout out to the time I was. All... What? What is it with me that re I remember that I was seer of a seer of light. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much Rose, Rose Kitty, and, and then and... oh, the other one. <laughs> yeah. Turns out no, it was it was Derek, unfortunately. The other pretentious one. <laughs> yeah. So there's a common thread, and I am potential. <laughs> you're so, you're literally the opposite. But you know what? Go off, girl, Lee. You we're working. Self immolate. We're... That's the Prince of Heart talking. Is that's all I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen. We're not here to psychoanalyze. We're here to psychoanalyze the Blorbos. Y'all can do that on your own time. Went exactly. from nerd to nerd. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At I least mean, now I, I know nerd. I'm vibing. That's what the the breath the breath is. Just vibes. Yeah. Gamzy was eating chips in one of your dreams, and Horace owned a coffee shop in another. Oh my god, that's Excellent. interesting. Horace oh in god. a dream. <laughs> Wait, it's like a coffee shop AU or oh my something. God. Someone write that. Gamzy's Someone eating chips in the coffee shop AU that uh, Horace owns, and then they I don't know kiss at the end or something. <laughs> write that down. Write, write that, that down. down. <laughs> All right, hit the wheel. Hit the wheel. I'm hitting it. All right, spinning. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I'm ready. I'm waiting. All right. My All ears right. are open. Um, uh. Oh. Oh God. Okay. Speaking of horses, Equius. All right. It's time for horsecock boy. <laughs> there he is. There so, he is. Hmm. 
Equius, Equius, Equius. What to say about this guy? This is so cool. I wish Ferb was real. Buck up and play the Genesis Project with me. I should do that. I should just make a lobby of the Genesis Project. But I don't I don't know if any of the other regulars would care. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just do like Prosecco or something. You, a bunch of you guys play Project. Well, I know Barfman does. Anyway, Equius. <laughs> Equius, horseman. <sighs> weird. Yeah, he's a uh... weird little man. Mostly slash pause. Uh, yeah. He's a jerk in the beginning. That, honestly, don't really care too much. He was brought up in this awful little society. Blah, blah, blah. We get it. He's big, strong, blue blood, and is a little racist at the start, but it is what it is. He never got the chance to to grow out of that, because, you know, poor guy. <laughs> Ooh. Died a little young. Poor guy. But most of what he had going on with Nepeta, it saves him. Saves him completely. Okay, well. Yeah. He's still a little bit too controlling of her. But again, he's a kid. So I can't be too mad at him. He's a blorbo I... in your eyes. Base. He, he's, give, he's giving me yeah, okay vibes. That's what I'm thinking. No. Like, I don't hate him. Yeah. I don't hate him. I, he well, doesn't, like, his don't... presence doesn't confuse me. So the haunt doesn't work. Yeah. He's not I baby mean... girl. <laughs> no, no, he is not. No. Mm -hmm. He is not a girl boss. He's a girl failure. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the horse cock is whatever. Everyone's got hobbies, you know? The forcing Radia to love him. You know, we all make mistakes in our youth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I never made that one. But I don't know. really, during... I forgot what the walk-arounds were called, but, you know, when Gamzee's on his hot girl shit, um, <laughs> him trying oh, to yeah. protect Nevada is very sweet. Very sweet. And I do enjoy him for that. Mm-hmm. So he gets to go in there. Also, uh, Air of Void is a cool class with interesting concepts around it, though. He gets in the pause. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Hit it. Mm -hmm. Spin that wheel. We got a lot of characters to get through. <laughs> we sure do. We right, sure right, do. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. And it's... Oh. What? Just read it. Snowman. Snowman. Okay. So this is the, the bitch... Oh, her! Yeah. Who is basically the entire troll universe. Second girl boss gets shot. The troll universe is dead. That's who we're talking about here. Honestly, her? Like, mm hmm. I didn't know that was her name. Yeah, Snowman, because she's the uh, the eight ball in pool, and an eight looks like a snowman. So her oh. Name is, yeah, her name is snowman. So I feel like this is just an easy one. She's girl boss. She's yeah. a simple girl boss, you know, a lot of the, uh, I don't know, chess guys, their sides and Prospidians don't really have a lot behind them unless they're they're the main ones. You know, these these uh, these guys here, they got a lot going on, mm -hmm. but the rest of them are just kind of around. Well, and Jack, but we're not talking about him yet. Mm -hmm. So, like, she's cool. Badass. That hate shit she's got going on with um, Spade Slick. Cool. Love that. She definitely mm -hmm. pegs him. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Not much else yep. to say, I don't think. Uh, fucking slam it, baby. I'm slamming it. Sun oh, slam the music's it. Hype. Music's popping off for this spin. Just pretend it we, it decides when um the beat drops. Oh. Um, it's Club Zeus. Club Zeus. Okay, here's another little guy. I think he's really Here. fun. Oh, I like yeah. I like his idiocy. I like the fact I that he him. just dropped a bomb on Jack Beck Noir and Jade and just marked her ass and it worked. But Jack was baby so mad girl, at him. Baby girl, baby girl. Rent free? You think Club Zeus is a rent free? I was gonna put him in baby girl. Yeah. Baby girl. Baby He's girl. He's got such baby, baby girl. girl vibes. Come on now. He didn't little... show up in my dreams. He's just going through it. He really is just going through it. And I'm in love. But again, there's not a thought behind those eyes, you know? They're just doing whatever. And that's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, slam it, boys. We're going yeah. again. Bonk. I'm glad a couple of these don't take as long. <laughs> All right. All right. And it's... Okay. Nepeta. <gasps> Girl, okay. Is she... Oh, where should I put... I almost want to put her in mayor tier, which is an odd instinct to have. 
I'm. I love her. She's um, so. Is she girl boss? I think. I don't know. Is she girl boss or is she baby girl? She's both, bro. She's both. It's hard. Cause like, action wise, she is girl literally boss. baby girl, but she's also she she got the she got the claws that make her a girl boss. Yeah. She's baby girl boss. <laughs> She's boss baby. She's fucking boss baby. Should I do that? Do we need a new category? <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Add her above. We need fucking boss baby. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I keep trying to capitalize boss baby. Wait, now move it up one. It goes in between baby girl and girl boss. Yeah, boss Because she baby. will fuck you up, but she's also... An uwu girly. If she was around for that, yeah. she'd be uwuing and awoing all over the place. And she deserves yep. to do that. She deserves to do what she wants. <laughs> like not but a cosplay jacket so I have on. The hood is going up. Category. The horns are out. Oh my god. She's such a cutie pie. Yeah. And she did damage to Gamzee, and that was very cool of her. <laughs> mm hmm Fuck him up, girly! Get him. Get him. Mm. She deserved better. Anyway. Moving on. Next! I spin. <laughs> we spin! Alright. We got... I like that second... What? Oh! Mm -hmm. Um, hold on. Could Mom Lalonde. Mom Lalonde. Okay. Okay. Where the fuck is she? She... Uh, there she is. We'll see to the top. There she is. Okay. Roxanne, Hi, Roxanne, Roxanne Lalonde, Roxanne Lalonde. I have some thoughts about her. I know that mm -hmm. she's not having a good time, <laughs> but I got some traumies, and let me tell you, <laughs> mm. mm, this is this is this is a hard one because I don't want to put her in no things. She's a version of Roxy, and I love Roxy, but, you know, there's a lot in rows that I, we're on the same page here, you know? <laughs> thoughts, thoughts to help me? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, let me, let me think. See, mm, he's cool, mm -hmm. but also, you know, Ro Rose didn't, deserves a bit better. <laughs> she really does. Middle of nowhere, yeah. mostly absentee mother. Yeah. The, and look, I will say she's a lot more genuine than Rose makes her out to be. But it's not yeah. like she did a great job of communicating that girl boss. She is a girl boss. It's true. Yeah. <sighs> but the trauma. <laughs> she's the. She's the. I don't know. She's, she's a girl boss. Like she's like a really irresponsible parent. You know. <laughs> yeah. So so. Tragic girl boss. I'm not making it the category. I was thinking, I was thinking boss baby, but then mm, that, mm -mm. I don't like. I don't like that she's next to Nepa. Yeah, but like she's not. She doesn't fit the vibe of a boss baby. You know. No. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna put her in. In no thanks. She is. I am acknowledging. She is a girl boss. Okay. But there are too but... many crimes. <laughs> There's too many crimes. There's... One of them is neglect. Yeah. Very very lots of neglect. Promies. Anyway. <laughs> sorry. Spin sorry. the wheel. Spin the wheel. Next. Next. To the guillotine. To the guillotine. I will judge thy blorbos. Oh. Uh, Dolorosa. Oh, now that's a girl boss. All right. The fuck is no, she? that's a girl boss. I love yes, her. Yes. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I missed. I love her. <laughs> Hold on, I feel like this should be the other way around. Yeah, it should be. There we mm. Wait, there we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Girl boss, boss baby, baby girl. Perfect. This, this feels correct. Hold on, now I gotta fix the colors. It's gonna make me mad. <laughs> Underneath my skin. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. There we go. Dolorosa. I love me. I love me a vampire lady. Yeah, based Virgin Mary archetype, exactly. Look, she went so hard when she saved Troll Gigas. Hold on, wait, let me put her. Honestly, she goes above the other two. 
Yeah. There we go. Oh? There's a baby calling me. It's the little kitty cat. Hello, kid. Oh my god. Give her kisses for me. Delarosa, my beloved, looking at the significance of her name and everything about her, I feel filled with grief. She's lovely and I love her. What? Based. Ditto. Yeah. All of that, honestly. Like, we she did not give a fuck about the customs or if it would get her killed. She saw that little bright red baby and she said, oh, that's mine now. Oh, this cute little helpless being? You're mine now and I must protect you with my life. My baby. And then she got, oh, the, the fucking sleigh reorg and then she, oh, she's so cool. She's so cool. She's so cool. She's amazing. She's top 10, top 10. If she were any more, like, prevalent in, in the comic itself, she'd probably be next to Dirk and Renfrey. But since she's an already long dead, basically a, a story, a legend, she'll stay in girl boss. Every yeah. Miriam, my beloved. So true. What, what fucking song is this? Androids. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, spin that wheel, baby. I'm spinning. <clears throat> Slam it. Jeez, I'm hit, getting hypnotized by the wheel. Watching it go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mituna. Mituna, okay. Bit of a tragic little guy. There he is. So is he heir, heir of doom, right? That's Mituna. I don't know why I'm asking I think you. So. You wouldn't. <laughs> no, but like, listen, I read the fic. Which I got, I, I got a bit of a crash. Oh my course. god, yeah, fucking. Uh, that's the MC only Asher. Reason, that's the only. Yeah, that's the only reason I knew who me, who Mituna was. Banger fic, by the way. Everyone go read MC Escher. That's my favorite MC. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I forgot it starts out as a soulmate fic. I don't know, maybe you wouldn't like it then. <laughs> Dave Cat's soulmate AU, but it goes fucking crazy in the end. <laughs> it is long, though. It's long. long. Well, I long. mean, if, you, if you're here, you read Homestuck. You're not afraid of long content. <laughs> True. Okay, Matuna. Honestly, Anyways. love. Love. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I could pull off his helmet. He needs it, bro. Please. <laughs> Stop it. He tried to fucking save... All of his friends, and that's why he fried his brain. And now everyone is so fucking mean to him. And it's it's evil and cruel, especially Cronus. I want to nuke Cronus. Just delete him. People can't have anything nice. I think... <sighs> what should I put him in? What should I put him in? I was... <sighs> Boss baby? I'm thinking... What? Maybe boss baby or I I was thinking baby girl. Baby girl? <laughs> I'm like in between them. He did the one the one martyr thing. And then yeah. everything else maybe, was Maybe maybe boss baby is better. Good thing we have boss baby as Yeah, a I'm, I'm glad we baby. added that because we need the in between. Matuna is great, guys. A tragic guy. And I love that he's the only stable relationship. Honestly, yeah, I was just going to say him and Latula are so fucking cute. And I love them. And she's not an asshole to him, like literally every other troll is, so. <laughs> Based just off of that. All right, full send it, boys. Next. Right. Nice beam. I almost finished my wine. I need another glass. Nice. All right. Uh, we got... What the... F um... Uh-huh. Okay, I'm learning that this that this spinny wheel will repeat characters because oh. we got Dirk Strider again. Oh well, and I mean, I guess we could talk. He just really—he's an attention whore. We know this. He just yeah. really wants to go again. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wait, his fucking split reality is on. Are right you now. kidding me? <laughs> There's no way. This motherfucker! <laughs> I can't do this. Wait! Oh my god, you know how I've been trying to think of an automatic to make? Yeah. Remember that one plan I had for like a meme video of Dirk going to Starbucks to this song? <laughs> I should do that. He's already here. He's lording this 2.0, bro. I mean, two have been together for Shout out to like, that one time I wanted to space. make like a. I want to make a comic or like something uh -huh. that was him doing an apology video. But like. <laughs> Please do! But like a Jeffrey Star style. Apology. No, it's gotta, it's gotta be like, um, what the fuck was her name? You know, the ukulele apology video, except instead of an instrument, he's just got sawtooth yes. and square wave in the background doing like beatboxing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's that's too real. He fucking would. Dude. Well, He's such a bitch. <laughs> that's why I love him. Cause uh, I hate him. He's well, like, oh. Uh, rent free, I swear anyway. to God. That's why he's rent free. He showed up on your music playlist. <laughs> like, Should probably All finish right. the other Hobes animatic first. I finished that animatic. I'll have you know. Hmm, I'm there. Okay. I just didn't animate it, and it's not. It's not happening. I'm so sorry. I should delete the comments that I said I would, because I feel bad. I feel bad, but it's really not happening. I don't have uh, harmony anymore. Oh my God. Aww. Who the fuck is setting off yeah. fireworks right now? Do you mind? Hello? I'm trying to rank Homestuck characters right now. No respect. I got- I got the new character. Okay, who is it? Dos. Oh, fuck. For a second I was like, huh? <laughs> Which fucking one is Doz? Oh, it would be two, wouldn't it? Yeah. There he is. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna put him in huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't- He's meh. just there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I feel like a, a decent half of the felt. I was like, who are you again? Like, I know Doze because it's a very easy pun. Dose to Doze, he goes slow. Doze, that's why I said Doze. Yeah. I was supposed to say. Yeah. But like, he's just kind of there. He's there to get shot, <laughs> is the thing. Mm -hmm. He's cannon fodder. All right, anyway, slam it. Yeah, anyways, moving on. I can't believe this fucking song is still playing. I completely he's forgot still... about that idea of him going to Starbucks. That's so funny. Well, there we go. The... Oh, wait, hold on. Who is it? Executioner. I only remember Clover and the oven guy. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're like the memorable ones. Also, Executioner, where is he? Dark Lear, come here! So um, this hello. one. Oh. This one, not as much of a fan. Do I want to put him in blah or no thanks? Mm -hmm. Because he's like a fucking simp, is what he is. He's like a nice guy. Weirdly. Ew. Because he murders... The disciples, you know, mate spirit, lover, partner, and then it's like, oh my god, I can't kill her, she's too hot, you know, like. <laughs> no thanks. And then helps, uh, fucking, the marquee. I'm gonna put him in no thanks. I don't think he's yeah. he's gross enough to put into blah because there's other more distasteful ones that I'd probably add to blah, but mm -hmm. general distaste. All right, slam All right. it. We spin it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mew, 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 mew. Pour more wine. It's like a plum wine. I don't know. It's... Oh. Uh, it we got Spade Slick. Oh. Now this. This is a fun one. Is that. I guess it's this one. I guess that I mean, one's just it's... like the base concept of a Jack Noir. Because we've got. I, we've got various noirs. This is the same character, just at different points in his lifetime. So that's a weird yeah. one to put on here, but you know. Spade Slick is rent-free for you. I don't know if I'd put Spade Slick in rent-free. Spade Slick is specifically the, the mafia version of him. Hmm. Oh, I only have one more glass left in this bottle. Oh, that's bad. Well, I got soju downstairs if I need it. Okay. Hmm. He feels kind Ooh. of girl boss to me. He feels a little girl boss for trying to stab Andrew Hussey. I'm not gonna lie. That is good. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of characters in Girl Boss. Yeah. As as we go on, we're gonna have to uh, maybe make another category, depending. Because if we if we're mm -hmm. noticing a little bit of differences in a very highly populated category, if we can split it into subcategories, I think we should. Yeah. <clears throat> he should have killed Hussey? You're yeah. so right. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I was thinking again. Mm -hmm. uh, Dirk is manipulate mansplained. Yeah, he is. Manipulate mansplained and the worst male wife. He's an abusive male wife. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay. Uh, again, he, he sucks and I hate him. But like, reading Meat was so fun. The, the Meat uh, epilogue. Just having him be the one to puppet it. He knows how to spin a good story. I'll give him that. And that was his entire point. That's what he wanted to do. And he, he set out to do it. And he did it. He delivered. He, he really is fulfilling the, uh, the rent free. Cause we're, we're yeah, that's literally, I think that's so cool though, because his 
whole point into why he wanted to quote become the villain blah 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 is because the story doesn't get written unless there's a villain keeping the story going and keeping it interesting and keeping it in people's fucking heads so the fact that he's got like shit going on up there that makes him live in my brain rent free is like damn i guess he won <laughs> cringe man cringe little fucking i hate him i hate him oh <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Next. <laughs> next one. Just keep going back to Dirk. Someone else is going to go on Reddit free, surely. I can think of a few. Mm -hmm. Uh, Matchsticks. Oh, God. That's probably 11, right? Uh, 12, 11. That's probably this guy with the fire hydrant extinguisher, I mean. I, I don't know. Uh, Huh. Uh, huh. <laughs> yeah, in, huh? That's another one where we're like, I don't fucking remember who the hell you are. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what your power is, bro. Like, whatever. Anyway, next. <laughs> Anyways, next. <laughs> A nothing entry. Hold on. Spinning it again. We got another character. Okay. The same one. That's so sad. Is there no, like, remove from the... I, I don't know, but I'll just spin again. Yeah, I think it's fine. We could just keep going. It'll get oh. harder the further we get, but... Just... Oh, God, who is it? Caliborn. Already, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Should he be a boss baby? Should he be the shittiest boss baby? He's scum of the earth. He is scum of the earth, you're right. Because, <laughs> like... I just, oh my god, he's the worst. He really is the worst. You're right. He's, you're right. Like, sure, he can do a yeah. murder real good. But this is this isn't even talking about Lord English because Lord English is over here. This is just yeah. bitch baby mode, Caliborn. Okay. Yeah. He's such a little fucking piss baby. Okay. Yeah. There was nothing better than in um the fuck was that game over? Yeah, in game over. Yeah. When John just beat the fuck out of him, that was so good. <laughs> I wish he could do mm -hmm. it again. But the next time he tried, he got, you know, his leg bitten and uh, he almost died. Well, he did die. Did he? No, he lived. What? The one where in Did John space? die in me? <laughs> yes, he yes. did. Okay, sorry. Yeah, and then Terezi keeps his corpse in her wallet. That's right. <laughs> yes, it was a whole thing. <laughs> Most likable 4chan user. <laughs> oh my god. You can't just diss no. everyone on 4chan like that. Like, they're... <laughs> It's it's a scum platform, but like not even they they don't deserve that. <laughs> no, but for real, okay. So like back on serious shit for the uninitiated again. I know not everyone that watches me is a homestuck and doesn't have the brain rot. So Caliborn is based uh, between him and his twin sister over here. I'm not gonna get into the details of how sheriffs work because honestly, it, the people who know know, and the people who don't know, it's not worth trying to explain it. You know, but um, they're they're both based on categories of, of people in fandom where calliope are the, the generally good nice people who just draw and create and love this work so much that they they just write the fan fiction and they uh, are bursting with creativity and life about it and then there's caliborn who is a hate watcher through and through and a fetishizer at the same time he's a little freak who goes and harasses other people uh to draw porn for him and etc etc you know you've probably seen a guy like this at some point on the internet you know exactly who i'm talking about he's that but worse yeah <laughs> full of death threats funny fortune user yeah. versus piss baby fortune user exactly katuna is technically the most likable guy on fortune since that's what he's based on you're right that's right weren't all the uh the dance sisters really based on like different maybe not all of them are based on different platforms but just uh, a category of internet goers. Yeah, yeah, like tropes. Or not, uh, not tropes. I, I don't know. Like they're based on internet. Yeah, stuff. I think I think trope might be a good one. It's it's like um, ma, 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 what's the word? The word I'm thinking of. Stereotypes of internet users, basically. There we go. Yeah. Most of them, at least. Yeah. The ones that don't have personalities. <laughs> yeah. But. I think that you think there'd be more to say, but like honestly, he's a very straightforward little guy. There's not a lot going yeah. on. He just he all of his thoughts are yeah are draw shitty yaoi and kill sister. That's all that's going on in his head. <laughs> so he goes into scum. I'm gonna make this piss baby. This deserves to be piss baby. Yeah, piss there baby we go. Tier. Here we go. Okay. 
Next! <laughs> Spin. The wheel. Mm. We spin, we spin, and it's Aradia bot. Aradia bot, is that on here? Let it be crazy is if there's the one. Nope, there she is. There she is. So Aradia bot, I not a fan actually. Compared to actual like li living Aradia, I've never been a, a big coup de day enjoyer. So the emotionless archetype isn't isn't really my favorite. I like the part where she beat the fuck out of. Uh, Equius and Vriska. That was good. I think I'm gonna yes. put her in, yeah, okay. But above Equius. Alright, can you... Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I think that that works. For this small section of Aradia's lifespan, death span, you get the point. It was... She did do some girl bossing, but in general, the whole, like, dead girl vibes. Eh. Eh. Okay. Wait, I just realized mm -hmm. something. Um... For a ro for the body of the robot, yeah. So you know like, they would have like metallic like limbs and stuff. Is the hair metallic or is it hair? Oh, I think it's metallic. How is the hair metallic Wait, in that we... shape? I mean, Equius just he fucks hard, you know. <laughs> Already but about then, scares no, me. Then, like you go, girl. But then how would exactly. she? How how would she move like proper without like her limbs banging on the back part? That's her hair. She's just, what limbs? What arms? <laughs> she got legs. No, it's fine. She just wings it. She's just that cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm spinning the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm moving on. I'm not doing this. But yeah, I think that's exactly it. The she scares me like you go girl, but I'm terrified. Exactly. Oh my, I got a little bit of. I'm gonna mute for a second. You can uh, state your opinion on this little guy, unless you don't know who he is. <laughs> Uh, quarters. I do like quarters. They're very helpful in buying things out of vending machines. Guys, help! Which is it? The, no, that's eggs. Uh, would it be four? 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 I no, that's clover. Uh oh. Uh, shit. Uh, hold on. Google <laughs> clovers <laughs> home stock. Who are you? Quarters. Quarters. Sorry, I literally can't think. Jesus. Quarters. You're right. I, was, I already know. Fourteen. Yeah, 14. Okay. It's fourteen. Okay. The fourteen guy. This one is this. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay. Literally had no fucking clue who this is. So, uh, huh? No. Yeah. Huh? Huh. I couldn't even figure huh. it out. Like at least with um matchsticks, I was we like, that's Google probably it, eleven. Bro. Yeah. Like I had no fucking idea. Anyway, next. <laughs> Next. Mm. Eggs. Sorry, I'm still blowing my nose. Oh. One second. <laughs> I do like eggs. Eggs are very tasty in the morning. And I like them scrambled. I like them yeah. fried. That's so true. Scrambled eggs based. Easy to make and nutritious. That's all I'm mm -hmm. saying. Anyway, eggs is the timer guy. I think he's funny. Oh. I yeah, he's funny. Isn't that... what what did he do again? I don't I don't know. He he just looks like a funny guy. At least you're having a stroke. Yeah, the camera gets a little confused. Cause like I remember the oven guy. Uh, bis biscuits? Is that? I don't remember. Anyway, the oven guy is the power is that you go in the oven and then time passes at a rate of one to one. <laughs> Normal time what? passing, basically. It takes however long you're in there to get out, you know? It's not a time travel machine is what I'm getting at. I don't remember yeah. what the fuck his timer does. <clears throat> and I don't know if anyone else does, so I'm gonna put him in huh? He's memorable though. I'll put him above the rest of them. Because I do it. I remember him. I don't know what he does. <laughs> anyway, next. <laughs> next. Surely. Surely next. Surely we'll get someone that we can talk to. <laughs> God damn it. Who is it? <laughs> Dark. God, he really is such an attention whore, huh? You know what? Hold on. You keep, you roll again. We needed the felt category. I think you're right. I'll put it in between huh and no thanks. Add row above. <laughs> oh my god, wait. The felt. 
resident sleeper. <laughs> it doesn't even fit. You get the point. Yeah. Because the whole category is getting very, very full. And I know that there's going to be others where I'm just like, eh. There's like a huh. Kind of deal. Right. There's two um, versions. I, I'm going to struggle pronouncing this mm -hmm. name. You want to just send the name? There goes. What was that? Mirfa? Mirfa? Type it M I E R F A. M I E R F A? Yes. What the and fuck? And it's clearly a troll because of the way their name is. Is that like a fan troll? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Wait, what, hold on. It has to be a troll because it's it, it's following the rules. What was the last name? name? Uh, Durga, Durgas or something. That doesn't fucking sound familiar at all. Who the fuck? Uh. Oh, hi, the Whittling. Welcome, welcome. Right now we're struggling. <laughs> uh, the, hey, does anybody it. know? Just spin who... it again. <laughs> We're spinning it? We're spinning it. I don't Who the fuck is that? All right, moving on. I don't know. On. Maybe it, it might be one of the background ones. Or like one of the fan trolls that got vaporized the next page that they were well, introduced. Remember that? We got vaporized from our memories. Yeah, it's a fan troll. That's what I was thinking. Thanks, AT, for the confirmation. Arania. <laughs> Arania. Okay, here we go. Now we can talk. Now I we're cooking. hate her bitch ass. <laughs> yes. I hate her more than I hate Briska. I don't actually hate Briska, but like... She sucks. <laughs> Follow your heart. Thank piss you. Oh my God. I piss think baby. I think she is a piss baby because she like whines and complains, and like the second she, she loses, she ruined like, everything. And she has such a massive ego. Like at least Caliborn eventually backed it up with becoming, you know, the fucking angel of death who is uh, everywhere at once. You know, and Ronnie just she's annoying. <laughs> Wait, what was her- what was her class back? Her class back, she is a sylph of light. So she heals, mm. or, or like repairs luck or, or- or- or narrative relevance. But she fucking sucks at it, and then the con- when the condi killed her, I said YES! I said DESERVE! You should have stayed dead. Oh my god. And she just talks no, and just talks like in that, and talks. Just like in that- in that- husband song. Yeah. Oh my god. And she's not even hot like the Marquis. Like, come on. <laughs> you got nothing going for you, girl. Anyway. <laughs> Spin the wheel. Spin the fucking wheel. I don't, I don't even want to think about her anymore. My brain feels dirty now. <laughs> if it's Zerk again, oh, I'm just great. Wait, we already did that one. <laughs> yeah, for, exactly. Like, worse than me. She's not even funny about it either. I like open bound Arania because she's the reason I know so much about the Dancestors, and she's initially very sweet. Wait. That's true. And she said ceremonial do... torchlight yaoi festival. <laughs> that is a very good Whoa. quote. <laughs> Did we do Stitch? Stitch? No, we didn't. Also, oh my god, Barkman's showing up for a stream. Ain't no way. Wow. I'm used to Barkman being a viewer in name only. Only showing up in the Discord, which, by the way, I'm gonna plug the Discord. Like, subscribe, and join the Discord. Link in the description where you'll see me chatting about various yep. garbage topics. And I will uh, remind when I'm streaming because I, I have a Twitter, but I don't really use it because I don't like the platform. <laughs> it's a lot of characters. Yeah, welcome to Homestuck. Hi. Here's here's what I've got so far. Now that you know who any of these people are, Barfman. <laughs> But feel free to comment your opinions just based on how they look as we go. Like all the Dancestors except Horus? I think that's... Yeah. Horus does suck. Cronus is up there. I at least like that he's a little pathetic, but I feel like that's a ploy, you know? So he's pretty He's pretty low down. Alright. Did you spin the wheel? Or are we still waiting? Yeah, it was Stitch. Oh, fuck. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Here he is. He, there he is. Um, I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna say, I kind of want Stitch to be in Girl Boss. Because Stitch oh, is the right. only. Stitch is, uh, his power is that he has these, like, little effigies of all of the other felt members, and if he sews them up, it heals their wounds, basically. So he's the oh, only motherfucker that keeping cool. that operation together. So I think he deserves to be in Girl Boss, personally. But, like, low tier Girl Boss, you know? Like, mm -hmm. 
I I like such a massive leap from just generic the felt and then whoop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because he does something. He's not in it a lot of the times. He's just kind of there in the background. But that's the thing. Like he is the thing holding the whole operation together. These motherfuckers are running around getting their asses kicked, and then he's like, "God fucking damn it, you motherfuckers! How am I gonna keep you alive?" Kind of shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. Jonas is a good design, and he's silly, but Horace makes me uncomfortable. That's true. That's true. Cronus is a little pretty. That's that's a one redeeming quality. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Next! We spin the wheels, we're going around and we're around going, and we're around. We're going kooky. We're going a little... <laughs> oh crazy. no, my god, oh, it's Dirk it? again. <laughs> There's no fucking way! Has anyone else come <laughs> up again? Is it just Dirk? No, we we had other repeats, but like not as much as Dirk. Yeah, what is this? The fourth time we've gotten Dirk? Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, Ren free. Anyway, he's, hey. he's still retaining it. Who? Hey, it's Jade. Oh my god. Anyways, um, Where's put her. I... Is she boss baby? Uh, or girl boss? Girl boss. I think she's girl, girl boss. boss. Girl think... boss. She's she's got to be top tier girl boss. Yes. Because oh my god. In love. Love her. One of my favorite Jade moments is actually pretty early. It's when she's talking to her dream self. And when she just goes off on Dream Jade Sprite. Because she's like, holy shit. You need to kick your ass in gear with all of this like defeatist attitude. And I was like, oh my god, she's so cool. And also she's a furry soon. Which is also very sick. Oh, this song. Yeah, the one you never finished. I, well, I mean, you sent it to me and I haven't even started that either. I, I don't have any uh -huh. ideas yet. I have to think about it before I did that. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe one day you'll have the counterpoint, one day. the counterpart to my Homestuck OP that Fr always harasses me about, and then he can harass you about it. Yay! Then we'd share oh, the burden. Yay. Yippee! Well, hey, at least I don't have. At least I don't have video evidence. Yeah, that's true. That... Dude, how old is that video even now? What, like four years? Three, three, four years old. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. I have to make wait, more Wait, athletics. wait, wait. Did you do it like senior year of college? Or... I don't remember is the thing. It oh, might, might be like two and a half years. That's why you no, always hound me about it. Do you know when I made it? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Me acuerdo. <laughs> I ain't looking it up. It don't matter that much. Anyway, next. <laughs> next. Because it's not going to be you again, you useless fucking ass clown. <laughs> Dirk? Oh si my god. Uh, si Sionic. Sionic. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. I, I know who that one is. Okay, so Sai, I'm honestly, I'm gonna put him in Baby Girl. Yes. He deserves, okay, obviously above Club Zeus. He's so, his story is so fucking sad. I love him so much. Like, that he was part of the rebellion and was like, part of their cute little polycule and shit. And then the Condes obviously steps in and crushes the whole thing. But unlike the Signless, who at least got a quick release, and unlike the Disciple, who just ran off to a cave to transcribe all of the, the teachings, this poor guy gets the, the privilege of having his lifespan indefinitely extended to reach the same amount as the Condes, just to be hooked up to her fucking battleship and used as the world's most powerful battery. Like, that is so awful. <sighs> Ah, uh, oh my god, he's so cool though. Ah. And, uh, you know what? I don't know, that reaction for me just now is making me want to put him into rent free. Do it. I'm doing it. Do it. I kind of, I think Dirk about him. To, Dirk needs a uh, uh, humbling. Yeah. But he's not the only one. He's, you're not the only one. You are still a little bit above him though. Because you're a little more relevant. But, oh my god. <laughs> something, something about him. Also, Gold Pilot is such a banger of a song. Yep. Okay, next! Next. Do 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 Oh. It's a Radio bot again. <laughs> Dead Earth, next! Let me tell you, while we're waiting for the next Cans. one... Cans! Oh, hands? Oh, wow. Cans. Cans. I don't fucking remember. Um. Uh. Um. Anybody know um, who cans? It's one of these motherfuckers! <laughs> Time to Google! Alright, hold on. Cans. Fucking. Uh, 
I'm stuck. <laughs> Who are you? 15. Oh, big man. It's big man. I love how no one fucking knows. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, big, man. I just refer to him as big man. Big man to the felt. Anyway, next. All right, next. Oh, 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 love of my life. <laughs> Oh, love my Kanoya. fucking life. Honestly, I want to. I'm putting her in right free too. Yep, there we go. She deserves it. Get her I love her yep. so much, and all the bullshit Kanoya. she has to deal with with her whole friend group. It's crazy, and she even died, but she came back because you can't keep a bad bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, even... based off our reactions when we found out it was Kanaya, yeah, she, she belongs there. <laughs> she belongs there. She goes up there. Oh my god. See, even if our FR gets it, base. Everyone in here, base, because Kanaya. Anyone who doesn't Kanaya. like Kanaya, honestly, they you shouldn't listen to anything they say because they're just wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. Like, I don't even- Oh, speaking of gold pilot, look at that. Oh shit, is it on? <gasps> Rent free, I'm telling you. Anyway. Mm -hmm. that's but um, Kanaya, I want to say more than just that. I think similar to the Della Rosa, just like her ancestors, she kind of followed similar uh trend trend setting trend breaking kind of kind of deal where she said fuck the brooding caverns i don't even know how that happened uh i guess the mother grub just like literally saw her and was like oh my god i'm taking this and going and then became her loosest instead Aww. the virgin well it was a virgin mother grub whatever that i don't remember the lore of how that happened but i know that her loosest was a virgin mother grub the virgin mary but uh she's Super fucking cool. She's a zombie slaying vampire who glitters in the sun like Twilight. That's not canon, but I want it to be canon, so it's canon in my heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also Gage. So let's go lesbians. <laughs> let's go lesbians. Love wins. Love wins, baby. Love wins. I see no difference. Love is love. <laughs> anyway, rent free next. <laughs> next. I love her. Friska. Oh, Vasca. Oh. Okay. Vasca. So, like, look, I don't think Vriska is bottom tier by any means, but she's so, like, contentious opinion-wise that she should have her own category anyway, you know? And yeah. I didn't want to put her next to the mayor because the mayor is pure and good and everything that's right in the world. So she's at the bottom instead in her own little category. Vriska, Vriska, Vriska. Um, complex complex little lady that's for sure that's for sure in yeah. this house uh Vriska did nothing wrong for right now doesn't exist okay i love that meme it's so funny but <laughs> right now we're here to talk about her we're here to discuss the spider she did a couple things wrong but also i get it uh, but like mm, shouldn't uh, have but like i like you know like doesn't excuse but we're here yeah. i see how you yeah, got here also <laughs> Tavros didn't deserve that. Tavros, poor sweet, dear precious, sweet, beloved, precious Tavros, you poor fucking thing. Terezi Jesus also Christ. Didn't. <laughs> Terezi definitely didn't, but like she thrived. She thrived anyway, at least unlike Tavros, yeah. who well, just be, well, died. Well, that's because Terezi is such a girl boss yeah. that she she'll she'll figure it out. Yeah. She said, "Oh, I'm blind now." <laughs> just kidding. That makes me cooler. <laughs> I get to wear the shades. I'm gonna be even more of a freak than I was before, and it's gonna be good. This is a good thing, so fuck you. Okay, but I do love what she tried to do, kind of. I think it's in it's interesting getting into her head and thinking about why she wanted to be in the spotlight so much. Really goes into the Thief of Light thing, you know, stealing the spotlight very literally. Uh, how she tried to integrate herself into what was already destined just so that she could have a scrap, a scrap of relevance. Which I think came from a lot of the helplessness she probably felt growing up with giant spider that she has to keep fed, you know? So she's like, you know, this is my chance to finally be something for real rather than just a spider's glorified maid. Greetings, mothers and fuckers of the jury. You came just in time, Ink. We're talking about Vriska. <laughs> Oh boy. We are discussing Vriska. <laughs> Vaska. Vaska. <laughs> I, will, I can't. Every time I say Vas Vaska, I think of Vasa. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I can't hear anything but the Terepi videos. That's it. The worst woman alive. Yeah, we are. She gets her own category because she's contentious. And you can hear all of our thoughts. We're, we're dumping. I'm info dumping about Vaska. 
And I gotta say, I fucking love the way that she died in the beginning. Terezi, that was such a girl boss moment for Terezi. She's going directly into girl boss. Maybe even rent free, depending on it, on how we would discuss yep. when we get there. Mm -hmm. Risk is funny, but I just despise her with a passion. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I don't I wouldn't say I have like any particular feelings one way or another. It depends on the scene how I feel about Vriska. You know? So loved that she died. That was amazing. Loved that part. Yeah. Uh a lot of people hate that she came back for good reason. I will say, narratively, should have stayed dead. Yeah. But this is a very big and very important but for me personally. It was funny though, so <laughs> <laughs> You monster. It was really it was really funny. It's really okay, look, I know her first death was so good thematically. Exactly, exactly. She should not have come back if we're talking about like good narrative structures and good writing. But the thing is, this is Homestuck we're talking about. And number one rule of Homestuck is that Andrew Hussey loves to fuck with you. <laughs> and he also loves Riska. So I, I don't think I was surprised at all when I saw Vriska come back. It was a little sad what happened to Ghost Vriska because she was living her best life with Mina, and I thought that was pretty cute. Uh, Wait, and then she just got Ghost dumped. Ghost Vriska ended up with... Uh, like, Ghost Terezi, that's Terezi. right. Okay, never mind. That yeah. was honestly and, better. And they had, a whole, they had a whole thing. It was so pretty. Yeah. That song's in don't the playlist somewhere. I took a screenshot of that moment because oh, it was so Skirt nice. Sisters. They're so good together. I mean, like, you're not good together, but like... As a relationship, great. When they're dead, they're good together. <laughs> this is Homestuck, the story where you have to just accept that you're gonna rightfully hate the author. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. No, and the no, and the thing is, like at, at that point, goes uh, Riska went through like a whole thing, a whole yeah. arc, a whole arc, so. and then Hussey said, "Into hey, the guys, trash. you like that arc she's going through? Anyway, uh, fuck no, it. I think <laughs> she's alive I, I, again. I think that." I think that's what got me because I'm like, I'm like, oh, but she went through like a whole thing, mm -hmm. and now it's just okay. <laughs> he said, "Fuck you, Briska solves everyone's problems." <laughs> the one thing that was missing, why they all died, is because Briska wasn't there. Obviously. No, Come okay, on. but here's the thing. I also <laughs> see that. I do like the idea of like Briska because like. Like, strategic why she is good to have on a team. Yeah, because she is a girl boss, like, by nature. It's true. Yeah. She's a bitch about so, it, and, but it's true. And, and the thing is that, that it is what their team needed at that time. They, they needed, needed someone like, to fucking step. smack him upside the head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Someone to, to willingly take charge. Because while they do have some promising leaders there, at that point in their life, in their character arcs, in their timeline, none of them were ready to take that job. None no. of them. Riska, on the other hand, was built to hog the spotlight. Literally, Thief of Light, blah, blah, blah. We know. We know the deal. So yeah. it, it does make sense that she was able to snap some sense into them, basically. But also, bad idea to bring her back in general, narratively. But also, for the, it was for the lulls, guys. <laughs> no, this is why I say complicated. Yeah. You know. We got thoughts. Everyone has thoughts about Riska. <laughs> So many mm -hmm. thoughts about Riska. So, uh, but I don't think about her personally enough to put her in rent free. No. I feel like that would just be a slot taken up and wasted. Because it's Friska, you know? I don't like how yeah. Friska's existence and how much Hussey liked her destroyed any chance of Chavros having a good arc. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because she that fucked him over true. and then he was just kind of gone. And like, he had a chance to give Chavros something good and he like half got there and then kind of did something when he was a ghost. Which was pretty pretty cool that he uh, stepped up to be the commander of the ghost army, which was cool. But he could have done more alive, too, without Vriska having to kill him. And I think you still could have had the killing Vriska thing work if she just, like, injured him again or something without actually ending it. But then again, that was a very shock value time in the comic where they killed off half the trolls, so... I'm not surprised it happened. Right. You know? But uh, tragedy. Is this Game of Thrones or something? Damn. Yeah, I know, right? Um, well, maybe Game of Thrones is based on Homestuck. Anyway. Well, okay. I think that's enough talk about Vriska. She doesn't deserve to hog the spotlight anymore. All right. Spin the wheel. Next. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. Napa showed up again. 
Do love Nap Nap. Just to remind, Nap Nap is in Boss Baby. Uh, Lil... S what? Lil Seb? <gasps> Lil Seb? Okay, Lil Seb. Lil Seb. Where should I put Lil... Where is he? There he is. Lil Seb is the Who's little, little oh, robot that bunny. One. Little robot bunny. <laughs> I don't know. Where should I put... I think Lil Seb should go in like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I do I, like I, the little guy. Uh, just seeing him around is fun. I loved during the, um... Mist stuck. How he was your little helper. Very cute. Very cute. And then somehow I forgot exactly how uh, he ended up with Caliborn, just watching John beat the shit out of him, which I think is very funny. So he'll go in, yeah, okay. Yeah. A lot of thoughts okay. in the night rooms. Discussing all of them eventually. Hell yeah. Like when we get to Rufio, go off, King. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. All right. Nick, let's just spin. I'm spinning. Mm. What? This is a very sweet one. It kind of punches you in the face. Why did it tell me to spin next? Unless there's a Homestuck character called Spin Next. There was an option in there. I don't know why. I think I saw it and I was like, what? Why is this here? Whatever. <laughs> Try again, loser. Just to fuck with you. Why? Very hussy like move. Hegemonic Brew? That is this one. Oh. No, wait. That oh. one's parts box cars. We want this one. There we go. Um. I'm going to put him in huh, personally. Huh. All right. I don't remember anything other than he just exists. Parts box cars is the memorable version of him. So I, I wouldn't even necessarily put him in yeah, okay, because he's not as memorable as obviously any of these guys. He goes in huh. Yeah, I barely even remember this guy. Exactly, exactly. Originally, mm -hmm. all of these felt ones were also in hub, but then we're like, this is this is gonna they're gonna inflate the category too much, <laughs> so they got their own. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so he's just kind of around. I think the most memorable thing that a uh, generic hearts box cars or um, hegemonic brute ever did was get decapitated by Dirk. At which point, uh, I don't want to talk about him again. <laughs> <laughs> This motherfucker time. hogged the spotlight enough already! <laughs> rent free, rent Four free, rent times. free. Four okay, well, we're calling this the fifth time. This is the fifth this, time it counts. <laughs> I'm mad about it. Alright, the next. next the next character. Uh, Draconian Dignitary. Alright, that is this one. I, I think same. It's the same kind of thing. The most All memorable right. thing this one did was that one, like... I hate the moral coward one who lacks a manly spark. The ascend classily or whatever it was, where he just kind of chills and puts a ring on and nothing mm. happens. Uh, this is a cute one. I like the the Midnight Crew song, but that's more that says more about the Midnight Crew song than it says about uh, Draconian dignitary. So he'll just go in, huh? Mm -hmm. He's all right. Next, I spin. I spin wheel. We spin. Cronus. Oh god, okay. <laughs> this fucking guy. Okay. He's going in piss well, baby. That time is kind of... I'm gonna say he's the least egregious of the piss babies so far. But wouldn't it be in blood then? I guess so, but he really is a piss baby. I guess he's not as bad. He's not he's not nearly as bad. Alright, alright, alright. I'll stop being so biased against Cronus. <sighs> but what well, well okay, I'll he's remember much of Cronus, what do you do? He's like, okay, so he's the nice guy. He is literally the nice guy archetype where he'll like go up to mm -hmm. any other of the, the Damcester trolls and start like trying to flirt with them. And then the second they like go away, he's like, you're a bitch anyway, etc. etc. I think there was more okay. that he did, but I don't really remember. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Blah. Blah. <laughs> exactly. Blah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Does anyone want to talk about Cronus? Okay, AT has something. I only like Kronos because I read The Outsiders and because I have a really great friend that's like the sweetest person ever and they like Kronos. That's fair. That's fair. I remember there was uh, one Twitter artist that uh, used to draw a lot of Kronos, but it, it was kind of like an AU Kronos, basically a fandom version of Kronos that was a lot less annoying. <laughs> I forgot. What were their names? Yo, it's Crow, I think it was. Actually, I think they showed up in one of my streams once and I... I panicked a little on the inside, and then they left immediately, and I felt so bad. Oh my god, it was crazy. <laughs> anyway. 
that happened. Uh, next. <laughs> so, so we got our next character. Oh god, oh god, this reaction is not promising. We got, we got Broderick Strider. <sighs> Dirk, you motherfucker, he's back! No. <laughs> Should we have a Dirk counter? <laughs> I'm gonna start, like, making tally marks at this point, because it's getting ridiculous. This is number six. Hold well, on. Okay. First up, image. I, I was looking through my screenshots earlier, and I found, since Ink is here, I'm gonna bring it out because I think it's funny. <laughs> it's the edit of Kara that you made with Dirk on it. <laughs> it's going in nice. the corner. <laughs> also, hehe, <laughs> hi Ink, I am, uh, I am basically Dirk, apparently. <laughs> Dirk Kinney. Okay, next, it's, I want a new text. I swear, story. I didn't do it on purpose. It happened. Text. Okay, there Anyways, we go. Anyways, bro. Dirk. Counter. Okay. Dirk. Sightings. Six. So Dirk far. sightings. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Let me just turn on an outline and make it black. We're, we're not going crazy. Oh my god. Do that. Uh, where's background thickness? That's the outline thickness. There it is. 12? Well, I don't know. Th this, this song kind of match-ish. Yeah, this is a- it's a Strider song. Oh, yeah, it's ooh, a Str- ooh. one of the Strider- well, it's Dave's, but... Yeah. Hold on, that feels too- is that readable for you guys? I can't see it very well. <laughs> it's very small for me. Uh, I'm gonna make the outline a little thicker. Viewable? I can't tell if that's readable. <laughs> you do not like bro, he almost made me quit reading the comic. Really? That early? Wow. That's crazy. I feel like most people, uh, including myself, uh, especially, when did I read it? I think I was 13 when I first started reading it. Oh my god, that's over a decade ago. Don't say this is good enough? Okay. <laughs> as long as it's slightly legible, that's all we really need. He doesn't deserve anything else. Um, I was like 13 when I first started reading it, and I was all in on the haha funny ninja household meme thing. And then the recontextualization later was like, an, oh shit, you fuck, you're right, man. Wow. <laughs> Damn, that. Ew. Anyway. That's too much, man. He'd be pissed. I don't know about pissed, baby. He is in bluff. He indeed. is at the highest, he's bluff. Yeah. But like, when compared to. Um, Caliborn and Arania, you know? I don't know if he deserves... Uh, I don't know. Deserves isn't the yeah. right word. Compares, I guess. He deserves yeah, the worst. Compare. But then again, that one time when he cut a meteor in half was sick as hell. <laughs> the, the only... The only good thing he did. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Only. But let me tell you, the drama he brings to the fanfiction, so good. Mm, yeah, I that eat one it up. Pick, Excellent. Excellent. All right. Oh, ooh, new chat. Probably unpopular opinion, but I'm not fond of Dirk. He wasn't necessarily too awful as a person. He just felt like he took up too much undeserved screen time. Yep. He yep. is a fucking camera hog who lives in my brain rent free. Yeah, rent free yep. isn't necessarily like. And I like. Okay, Good. I do love him, but like I hate him. You know. Rent free just means I think about them more than is healthy or probably uh, normal. For a person to think about a character, you know? Yep. Started reading it last year, and I started reading it with a bunch of spoilers. I already knew he sucked, but seeing it in person was horrific. Yeah, no, it's 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 bad, both in emotional and physical abuse. You know, keeping him on his toes the whole time, attacking him, but yeah. also, you know, all the porn that's everywhere. He's 13. Dave is 13 fucking years old, and he's being, like, unwittingly recorded in his home, you know? Uh, we uh. learned in past request at least it wasn't in the bedroom or the bathroom, thankfully. But still, uh. like, in the, there's only one other room in the goddamn house, you know? Like, come on, man. You, me, roof, now, bring Cal. And, like, look, I get that he's a little tragic in that sense, that he was exposed to Lil Cal, i.e. a mixture of Caliborn, Aarquius, 
um who the fuck else is in there uh gamzy uh, dear god gamzy gamzy yeah. uh those three i think maybe something else i don't remember but um exposed to that whispering in his ear for his whole life literally from birth well uh ecto birth to adulthood where he's presumably minimum late 30s you know like he's gonna end up fucked up in the head but still it's but still it sucks so bad oh my god like yeah. poor dude's hot kids hiding food in the closet like that's so bad <laughs> it's so bad oh my god might just be me not relating to the striders very much at all yeah i mean they're hard to relate to i just like them because they're funny yeah you know especially dave dave is my yeah, baby girl I... <laughs> I know where I'm putting Dave. He's going to baby girl for Let me. Let me get to him. But I'm not going to say where yet. We are okay, okay. until we get to him. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Anyway, spinning the wheel. Yeah, we'll Jane. spin the wheel. I think we said what needs to be said. Jade, you, wait, who? Jane? Jane. Jane. Okay. Jane, I'll be honest. This, I'm not even going to. Okay, for her specifically, I'm not going to include the epilogues and past. Yeah. But even then, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did she go above or below Equius? I didn't care for her. She's just kind of boring and a little mm -hmm. uptight. A bit of a tight ass. Yeah. To quote yeah, Roxy. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> clean the epilogues because I feel that's a bit unfair to her. He's funny, but the rap sections go on too long. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that. He raps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tavros right. had to deal with that. Tavros and John yeah. were like, taking the brunt of that. <laughs> Jane is definitely very eh, but I get her. Yeah, like... She's just a teenage girl, you know? And maybe it's because I, I was at the time and, uh, you know, just for many years was a teenage girl myself. Is, you know, she's whatever. Getting yeah. harassed. <laughs> I don't know. I just never liked Jane at all. <laughs> Something she's about a... her. Maybe it's because she's a, a rich bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I guess, listen, I guess in comparison to the other kids, I'm like, yeah. yeah look, guess. not all of Hussey's women can be interesting. <laughs> when almost every other one is, but not Jane. I mean, plain Jane, maybe that was the, the point, the meme. Uh, even when she went evil mode, I was still like, I just don't care. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you for the sub, Megan. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I heard a sneeze and I was like, what, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> listen. Thank you, thank you. I like Jane. I made some awesome art of her a while ago, and then my sketchbook was stolen. Oh no! <gasps> no. Oh my god! Can you oh, give us god. our? I wanna, I wanna know. Like, what's your, what's your favorite bits about her? This isn't like in a judgmental sense. I'm just interested. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it seems this this VC is very biased right now. <laughs> yeah, no, because like you're the one who feeds me this stuff. That's true. That's true. I literally read Homestuck out loud to her. Look, I think my Jane voice was pretty good though. You did have a good Jane. You got <laughs> a good many the Derek voices. Just saw Derek in the corner. I brought that up for you, Ink. I need you to know that. <laughs> what? The the Kara Dirk that I I put on the screen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the making Dirk. that edit, Cat. <laughs> Wait, what? What edit? The 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 Kara Dirk. Remember when we Hold were on. reacting to Underverse, and then I was like, Kara looks kind of like Dirk. Hold on. Dirk. I'm, I'm... I'm bringing, I'm bringing up the stream. Go look, at, go, go look at the stream so I can remind you. It's in the top left. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have another one. I have another. I think I made this one. This one isn't Kara though, but I think it's gonna be. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god, that's a browser source. <laughs> I didn't want to do a browser source. I did the wrong thing. That was so <laughs> long ago. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What am I doing? Image. Where? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just, it's going to be called Image 6. I'm not naming the source. Jesus. Is at the bottom? Where is he? I do just have, like, a transparent version of Dirk from Pester Quest, but I think I'd get distracted by his massive guns, so we're not going to put that up. There we go. <laughs> this is what I was... Something about him. I'm going to put him over here, like, behind Mute. No, like, just, like, in the corner. No. Behind Mutey. <laughs> we go over like that and hold on hold on i'm gonna put it behind the overlay too let me see oh my god i have to scroll down so Ooh. much i'm going i'm going there we go oh it's too far oh my god now you can't even see i'm just looking at you 
If Caliborn was a Lord of Heart, I, that'd be... Oh god, I don't even want to think about that. Okay. Exhale, hyperfix ass right. cannot handle. You're welcome! <laughs> Jane, from what I know of her and the spoilers I have, she's dealing with a lot and being in a lot of friend group drama. That's true, it's true. And she's also just an Egbert. And Egbert... Oh my god, Egberts are great. Okay. Ah, okay. Look. You know that little heart thing you guys can press? No, like, yeah. Send it in the chat. Don't. It covers up some of the chat sometimes. So if I ever have... If I struggle reading your message, that's why. <laughs> I think maybe because I feel like out of all the characters, I think Jane is the more, uh, I can definitely see, a, like, a girl like that mm -hmm. in the high school. Yeah, that's the thing. I agree with you. She makes very reasonable de decisions and understandable decisions. She's literally the most realistic teen girl in this whole fucking comic. But maybe that's yeah. why she doesn't stand out as much, because the rest of them have some weird damage or something. <laughs> and go cuckoo crazy. So so that's mm -hmm. why she's not in the negative one. She's not in, huh. Well, I'll, I'll put her up above at least the other two. Because it's true. She yeah. is just like a sweet girl doing her best who then also gets mind controlled by uh, the per person that she thought was her family. So unpleasant for her. Yeah. But she's still, I'm still not a big fan of her. She doesn't go, I love how the only one in Baby Girl right now is fucking Club Students. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> We will find someone else. Someone we'll else is gonna go with it. There's else. so many characters. We'll get there, but right now it's just him. Oh my god, Barfed, you were here before. Wasuo turned mound. What a what a second entrance. Did you wait? Did you say a character? No, not no, yet. Okay. Send uh, it. Her laws. Her laws. Okay, you couldn't hear before. What do you mean? Skill issue, Barkman. Uh, where's Carlos? There he is. Okay, Carlos. There he is. Uh, I'm gonna put Carlos in no thanks, like the bottom of no thanks. He's like Gamzy, but worse, like more boring, less interesting. Uh, him and Mulan have a cool thing going on, but then like he's also mind controlling her a little bit, so it's a little less cool. That's not nice. Uh, his vibes are sick, though. The whole sewed his own mouth shut after hurting Mulan and making her go deaf. Very cool. But, you know, that was one thing. And then now he's doing something else. Now he's serving Lord Douchehole. So, here we are. <laughs> anyway, next. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you Finn. have thoughts. I, don't know. I feel like I'm, like, really commandeering really, it, but it's also my stream, so fuck you. <laughs> I barely remember him. Anyway, speaking of sh the thing being rude, how? Mm -hmm. How? How? Oh, how? Oh, I got a lot to say. Hold on. Hold on. Your counter. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Carlos is weird. He's got a neat design, but he doesn't stand out that much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's like, even in the uh, open bound sections, like, he doesn't do a lot. He's kind of there. He has this one little spooky moment with Gamzee where he gives him the fucking cod piece or whatever. But I love how Carlos just decided to do telepathy instead of learning side. Yeah. My God. Loser. Yeah. But I mean, I guess if you can, you might as well. But damn. <laughs> well, I mean, he knows sign because he can he can tell what Mulan's saying. So I guess he does know it. He just is too lazy to do it. He just speaks in her head. <laughs> Which fair enough. Alright, anyway, little yeah. Hal. So, I guess we're counting that as the glasses themselves. And not... Um... There was another version I think I saw somewhere. I guess. It doesn't matter. It's the glass. We're doing the glasses. AR. Yeah. Here he is. AR. <laughs> Do I... Uh, Do I... I want to put uh, him... I kind of want to put him in rent baby right girl. next to dirt. <laughs> you want to put him in baby girl? We'll baby. start him in there. Because the thing is... That he's all okay, definitely going above. He's a tragic creature, ain't he? Yeah. Built out of hubris, trapped in a pair of sunglasses, trying to talk to his friends, but his friends seem to resent the fact that he even exists and is there. Like, there's a lot going on in that poor little robot head. And I'm, you know, I'm glad that he loved being a Arqueus and had a good ending before he then later became, um, Lord English, which less of a good ending, but you know, whatever. You won't think about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he is no, he tragic is character, bit Rapunzel like. That section where Dirk almost shattered him, I was sweating. Edge of my seat. 
Stress. Stress. Sure, I wasn't the only one who was deeply amused to find out that the dream bubbles were like Tumblr, yeah. <laughs> I think it was just because I had started using Tumblr when I got there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very funny how, like, <laughs> they're just like blog posts littered about. Dream bubbles. I rebubbled all of them. I'll have you know. Because I'm polite. Why is my music not playing? Because it's mean. Oh my god. I feel like this is gonna get me. <gasps> FR, are you here? Game Bro came up. <laughs> FR, please. <laughs> If you, yeah! <laughs> there you are. Don't I like the glasses? That's fair. The, the only game, bro. Your moment has come, FR. <laughs> I don't know. I've, something about the... He's almost like Rapunzel to me, AR. Also, I think... <laughs> I think you know the one fic where he's the main... I think we're... <laughs> I'm really biased. I think just... No, don't bring up the snake. <laughs> Don't bring up Endangered. It's called endangered. Look don't it up if you that. want, or maybe don't. It's it's. Don't you do it, guys, 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 guys. It's literally it's Dirk no. X A R. It's crazy. No, don't listen, don't listen like don't it's listen. it's so A U that like it's not don't even. Do it. <laughs> don't. It's really don't, well written. It's like post apocalyptic. It, no. Androids versus human. Uh, no, anyway, man, we're not doing this. <laughs> I should have. I should not have brought up that one. Anyway. <laughs> It is a good you thing. really should. I made, I made a poster for it once on my DeviantArt. There's like a whole poster that I made. <laughs> it's game, bro. Stop no. yapping. No, you're not allowed to listen no. to the song. We're I'll turn it up for you, FR. I'm tempted to say, yeah, because you have no room to talking. <laughs> not necessarily. My thing is definitely more cringe, but like, I think we're both losers about something, you know. Oh god. Dance sisters aren't an accommodating group. I don't know how well you can hear me over or <laughs> the music now that it just turned it up. Dance sisters aren't an accommodating group, so I feel like both Curlaws and Newlin are just kind of dealing with a friend group that's just not the most accommodating. Just putting them in a bad place. That's true. And definitely was true. But now that Curlaws is serving um Lord English, it's a little less fun. And he's kind of dragged Newlin into it too, you know? This is the VTuber. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> yeah, the music and turn down my microphone barf man why do you hate me music is good oh so you can like still hear me oh, that's good maybe i'll leave it there just let me know if it gets like too loud or too quiet again etc <laughs> it's oh it's so hard to tell from this end let me tell you let me just bring my mic closer to make sure eh. sorry this probably sounds like ass me wrestling with a mic arm there we go Ooh, there we go all right i think that's good enough for ar I know I have a new room to talk. I literally have from Belfast. Hell yeah, bro. That's different vibes. No, that's definitely for sure. It's a weird one. And I never in the real because the in canon, AR is a 13-year-old version of Dirk's brain. You know, like in the comic, when we meet Dirk, he's 16 already. You know? All of the Alpha kids are 16. But in the fake, it's like an entirely separate, like they're not the same person really. And it they're not connected at all. It's literally just made up. It's entirely made up. It's just a robot. Anyway. Yeah, it's literally, it literally could be just like a whole si different sci-fi novel. Just change the names. Yeah, they literally just wrote them. their own sci-fi novel, but co-opted Homestuck names. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> the games will never stop. Anyways, FR, you're so next right. Next character. Mm -hmm. uh, it's trans. It's who? Trans. I don't know who that is. Trans character? Roxy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Trans. Like T R A C E. Trace! Oh my god. Okay, yeah. And uh, Trace is one of these fucks. Oh god, I don't remember which one. Is that this one? I can't Three! read. Three! Three! I can't read. It's three. Okay, Um, I do remember who three is. <laughs> Trace is the one that can follow you through time. He knows where you will will be, were, have been. I don't know. Anyway. I wish Hussey actually gave a fuck about the dance. Houses. Yeah, he kind of just slapped him in there for the fuck of it. And it was just like, eh. You get the, the essence. You know how, like, La LaCroix is, um, like, if someone waved a fruit over a can of seltzer, that's LaCroix. Um, so the dance sisters are like if you waved a personality over a person. <laughs> A lot of them. Some of them are fleshed out like Mina and Rania, but obviously most of them were just there for two seconds to be silly and left. Fuck Ken and we ball. Exactly. Vibes. 
Yeah. Are the dancers seriously anyway. with some sick dancing guys? Um, do any of them dance? I don't think any of them even dance. I think Rufio might dance if he felt inclined. Tancred deserves a chance to grow as a person. Yeah, yeah. Instead of being cringe and performative. Yeah. He could, he could have made it, obviously. His his counterpart was literally troll Jesus. So he has the potential to be a good person. Instead of just saying shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I think the ancestors have more personality than uh, that soda. Then again, I have overanalyzed Rufio to shreds. Yeah, they, they might have like traces in there. But also a lot of it could just uh, be like adding it in. Because I know, I was actually, I was watching this guy TB Skyn watch through all of Has Been Hotel recently. And since that show was so violently condensed, you're left to read into things and kind of fill in the blanks yourself, you know? So it could be something like that where it, it's a backstory that makes sense and fits, but it's not necessarily something that's in the text, you know? So who knows? But then again, I, I didn't pay attention too much throughout the dance ancestor section, so you could be, I could just be talking out my ass, who knows? <laughs> Anyhow, next. <laughs> uh, Ryan's. I put him in already. He's in a. <laughs> he's in the felt. <laughs> it's uh, Mom Rose. Oh, okay. The other Mom Lalonde. Two point Rosanna. Where the fuck is Rosanna? Yes. This is not. I love how it's not official that they have like longer versions of the names, but like we're just doing it anyway. Where the fuck am I blind? There's too many characters. Wait, I see her. There she is. I purple. see her. She has she has purple background. Purple, purple, purple. Okay. Mom Lalonde Rose Edition 2.0. Mm. I want to grab Kangri by the shoulders, sit him down, and explain how these things mm. actually work to him. Yeah, because again, like these are just kids. They're just teens, man. You know. So like, you can't really get mad at them too much, unless they're Vriska or Arania, or etc. Well, then again, the ancestors have been sitting in the afterlife for what, like billions of years or something millennia but then again who knows how that works if your brain even has a chance to develop if you're a ghost i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway mama lawn 2.0 um shrug yeah i mean we don't really know a lot about her i'm inclined to just put her in girl boss because obviously like rose lawn you know uh she wrote really dense wizard books killed mm -hmm. some juggalos or was it guy fieri i forget who killed who i think she killed guy fieri <laughs> tragic um and then set up for roxy but she did also fill the house with booze which was not very cool of her but maybe it's uh no she's an adult woman no I can't the song yeah i know right yeah you speaking of the ancestors and those walk arounds it's good it's a good song but god we've all heard it a lot haven't we <laughs> bam bam da -da -da -da. but yeah um, cool Right. Yeah, her her leaving booze around for Roxy, not not good. Yeah, it's not good. But like, since she never had the chance, she, she was never actually in charge of a child, at least. So I'm not as uh, true. I true. don't have as much traumas about it <laughs> as I do with the other mom a lot. <laughs> you can also blame Crimson Rose for me calling it traumas. <laughs> he said that so much in the stream we did yesterday. <laughs> Oh god. It's Ink the character's canonical birthday tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Good luck with your art, or I guess good arting. Happy arting. There we go. Nice to see you again, Ink, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> you guys ready for the ICP this year? Honestly, I think I'd welcome. I might vote him in, you know? <laughs> At this point, <laughs> I'll take my chances. <laughs> Give me the clown. <laughs> We're halfway there already. Politics, breaking my own rules. Anyway, can somebody celebrate mm. it like crazy? I noticed that we haven't had any. We haven't had any of the main kids. How dare you forget about Jade? Oh, right. <laughs> How fucking dare you? Anyway, I think we said enough about Miss Miss Ma'am here. Because I mean, again. It's, it's a similar situation for a lot of the dance sessions. I'm just moving on with you forgetting our, our lovely woman who is at the top of girl boss, mind you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's similar to some of the dance sessions where there's just not a lot to talk about because they were, they're, they're ancient history, basically. 
rather than an active character that we get to see do things in the present. Even though they're they're alive, technically, in Jane and Jake's timeline, we don't see any of what of what's going on there. Mm-hmm. All right, next. What a nerd says Fr. Bonk. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Hot meat kettle. <laughs> Black queen. Black queen. Where is she? Here she is. I feel like this and the king are probably just gonna be like a. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should put her in hot. I mean, she does yeah, kind of okay. girl boss a little bit, so maybe it is wild. Well. She's kind of hot, so she'll go in yao okay instead of huh. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's, yeah. that's right. I think it's funny how she tries to put uh, Next. Jack Noir into a um, jester outfit and he hates it. Girl boss of her. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, handmade. Handmade. Oh, no, that's an interesting one to talk about. Where is she? There she is. That is Aradia's ancestor. This Ooh. poor girl. So she is the only ancestor other than the Condis that is actually alive in the present timeline. I mean, technically she's alive whenever because, you know, time shenanigans, but she, I believe, wasn't she born very, very recently in the, she's kind of, what? Hi, what do you mean? This is not controversial. Have you seen the Black Queen? Hello? Don't act like this isn't something normal to say about her. Come on now. Hussie knew what he was doing. But, um, yeah, I think she was born somewhat recently and then got, like, TP- Or maybe not recently, but wherever she was born, Doc Scratch TP'd her ass to the Green Moon. And, uh, basically held her captive. And abused her. (laughs) Into being a a uh... maid for Lord English and doing his bidding. And she was literally trapped. Mm -hmm. She was- she'd live as long as she needed to before she could transfer the job to someone else. At which point, at the end of Alternia's lifespan, before it died to the meteors, as it was dying to the meteors, as you can see by the the fire behind her in this little picture, um, she transferred the duty onto the Condis, and she was finally allowed the mercy of death. So that's kind of sick. She's going up. She's going up. She's going into Girl Boss. I think she is- Right next to the Dolorosa. Yeah, girl boss, exactly. Handmade goes hard. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. She had to deal with Doc Scratch being weird pervert to her. Because we all know that Doc Scratch is a bit of a... Nikito. <laughs> He's a bit of a... Uh. Don't like that guy, let me tell you. Uh, uh. When we get to him, you got a lot to say about that bastard. But well. that's not for right now. <laughs> that's for later. Yeah. He's, needless to say, he's probably going to go and piss baby tear. Anyway, next! Mm-hmm. And there's, there's not a lot to say Spin. beyond that nice little recap, because she's not her, she's not around a lot, but her story is there, and it's a very tragic and interesting and cool story. Next! <laughs> By the way, does, would Hal count, count as part of the of the Dirk counter? Yeah, I already counted it. Alright, Hal showed up again. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> Here we go. We're at eight now, boys. Yeah, yep. and I spin back. again, and guess who's next? Who is it? Uh, to keep, to maintain the theme. Is it Arquius? Dave. Dave, okay, that's nice. The counter doesn't have to go up again. Dave Strider. Dave. So Dave no. Strider, I feel like this is a pretty easy one. He's going to baby girl. Yep, He's baby there girl. we go. He's baby girl. He's baby girl. Yep. Love that yes. kid. Poor, the poor fucking thing, let me tell you. He's been through a lot of traumas. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. But he fucking made it through to the other side. And that's so fucking cool for him. Also, he got to meet Obama in one of the epilogues. (laughs) David Elizabeth Strider. He is my favorite. I wonder where that originated from, his middle name being Elizabeth. Because that's everywhere. It just kind of (laughs) appeared. (laughs) It just manifests itself. He's the new queen of England. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's why. Queen. Queen. Slay. If there was still a slay tier, he'd go in there. baby girl. Baby girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we did have a slay. I, I mean, <sighs> there's probably a lot. It, it's so weird because Dave, he's one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character in the whole thing. Which is weird, because he, he's, he's not rent-free. He's my favorite character, but he's not rent-free. This is what we mean when we say rent-free is different. It's like, if you think about him a lot. I don't... I love Dave. He doesn't... 
he doesn't pick apart my brain matter, though. You know? He's a tragic little guy. Loved his pester quest route. Very funny. Very funny. Uh. But, I don't know. So, like, Tarepi. Yeah. I don't know. Tarepi. Tarepi's gonna go in girl boss, that's for sure. Or maybe she... Should she go in rent free? I don't know. I, I feel like I'm rethinking uh. Kanaya being in rent free at this point. Because she might just be in girl boss. Because I don't... She doesn't pick apart my brain matter. But she's amazing. But, mmm. See, now, now that we've got a couple things categorized, now is when we start having to reevaluate. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of a hard one. Shall I spin? Yeah, I guess. It feels weird that I haven't said much of anything about Dave, but, like, he's such a popular character that I feel like anything I say has been said before, and, like, you get why I played him a baby girl. I feel like everyone knows. Anyway. Spin. He and Carcat kiss. That's why he's in Baby Girl. <laughs> or they don't mm -hmm. kiss, and that's why. Oh. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Uh, Dave Sprite. Well, here we go again. Now, this one is a little more interesting. Because while Dave has a very... He's got a pretty straightforward arc, I'd say. A weird time was notwithstanding. But this guy has a lot of... I don't know where I'm putting him yet, but it's going to be somewhere up here. I got to think. Might be Boss Baby? I think Boss Baby. Because Dave that Sprite... That sounds right. Yeah, Dave Sprite still has the baby girl nature of Dave. Because that's Dave at his core is a baby girl. But the move of him going from the Doom timeline and abandoning it and, like, fucking manning up and saying, I'm going to go in this Sprite so that you don't have to go through all the bullshit I did. And I know it's going to make me non-narratively relevant. And now I'm, like, in this weird middling space of like i'm i'm a real human being with my own thoughts and life that i used to have but now has been taken from me because now i'm a game construct and what the fuck do i do with this how do i keep going like there's so much interesting shit in there so like he's still got the baby girl nature but he's he's got a little bit of girl boss in there too because he's been through some shit <laughs> different shit than than regular days you know yep any thoughts you disagree <laughs> Uh, cause the, the he's that whole thing. Mm -hmm. I will say, the whole thing with with the time traveling Dave mm -hmm. fried my brain. That mm -hmm. whole section, so I don't remember it. Yeah, that's true. It's very early on, and since mm -hmm. have, you've only read it once, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have the the advantage that I have of having read at the very least the first section, the first couple acts a couple times over. So, yeah. like, I've had a lot of time to chew and digest what happened there. So, basically, what happens is, originally, um, when, Cla when um, what is it? Prototyping the Colonel Sprite, Dave obviously puts the, the dead crow in there. But next, he puts Little Cal, which, from what we know about Little Cal now, bad idea. And that leads to John and Rose ending up, uh, not Rose, John and Jade ending up dead. Something happened to John. I think Terezi happened to John. And then Jade just could never get into the game at all. So Damn. she is presumed dead by Meteor. Um, so it's just Dave and Rose left. So Rose uses her seer powers to be like, what the fuck do we do now? Blah, 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 blah. They're like high level and shit. Have a lot of knowledge of how the game works. She does her shit. Talks to the horror terrors or something. And then is like, all right, Dave, you're a time guy. Go back in time. Fix this shit. I'll just cease to exist. But like... Girl boss, that's normal girl boss Rose Lalonde shit. So, wonder what happened to Rose in, in that timeline? Yes, she just faded from existence is the understanding. Which is crazy. It's like, how do you even quantify that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. She's just gone. And then Dave Sprite was like, yo, Dave, you can't put, don't put little Cal in there. It ends up dead. And <laughs> John's like, are you tricking me? Blah, 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 no. et cetera, et cetera, you know, because he's a little goober. And Dave Sprite exists. Burby Kaka Poo Poo. Oh my god, TMI. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's Dave Sprite. He's, he's Dave, but with a little more spice and trauma, which is crazy because this slaps roof of Dave Strider. This bitch can fit a lot of trauma in it, you know? Yep. He's just got a little extra. And now he's also part bird. Anyway, cat song. Walls covered in blood. Nice. Snippet is theme. Alright, next. Alright, spin. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, Aridin. Oh my god. All, All right. right. All right. Slap that bitch into piss baby. He's a piss baby. You're right. He's bottom of piss baby. Or should I put? How are we doing this? I, does top I'm of doing piss, baby piss baby mean worse or does it mean better? I don't know. Is top of <laughs> piss baby closer to blah or closer to Vriska? Hmm. I don't know. He's like he's less bad. He's less bad than these two. Yeah, he is. Well, that's because he didn't live long enough. Yeah, but he's also worse than these two. What? No, he is. He is. Prince of Hope looking ass. My god. Dude, deliberately and for- I don't even- why did he even do it? He just started killing people. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, magic, blah, Kanaya's dead, blah, etc. You know? And he didn't even do anything cool with it. He just got cut in half by Kanaya and then was gone. <laughs> he just sucks. <laughs> Even even the the killing spree notwithstanding, even before that, he was like, "Come on, Fev, I know you will want to date me." Forgive the bad octopimp impression, but <laughs> come on, Fev, we were we were meant to be together. Shut up, <laughs> God, you suck so bad. And oh, can Riska, please just one kiss, one smooch. Ew. He sucks so bad. Anyway, yeah, he's a piss baby. I think uh, enough said. I don't want to dwell on him. He sucks. Next. All right. <laughs> Spin. Spin. Um. I think it's this one. Because he looks like a shark. I'm going to double check that. Spin. What can I say? I'm yeah. a genius. I'm literally just smart. Alright. Anyway, I don't remember shit about him. He's going to the felt. Next! Spin! <laughs> Lord <laughs> English. Alright. The big bad. Here we go. Now, do we even have a lot to say? He is piss baby. Top of piss baby. Yes. He's Obviously. the king of the piss He's baby. The He's Caliborn. But, I don't know. He might be Caliborn, but better, to be honest. <laughs> You can't speak. I mean, you... <laughs> yeah, true. They shut him the fuck up. He just goes raw. He goes honk, and then, I don't know, does some, kills you. <laughs> oh yeah, he does go honk. He says, he says honk real loud, and then he kills you. He goes <laughs> honk. Yeah. The amalgamation of a bunch of really shitty people into one big buff Hulk looking ass guy with a gold tooth and a weird coat. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's, he's good for an indestructible villain, I guess. I don't really have much to say about Lord English in general. I will say his concept before he's actually revealed is pretty cool. Chilling, scary. Mm -hmm. And then his introduction after um, the, the kids session is over when Doc Scratch is done pupating, I guess. And then he becomes Lord English. It's like, oh, sh that's an oh shit moment. A very big oh yeah. shit moment. And I honestly, I was like, oh my God. And every time I watch someone read through Homestuck, I get very excited for that point in the comic. Mm hmm Anyway, any thoughts or next? Next. 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 <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Finn repeated. <laughs> of all people. I get Barkman. Another repeat. Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be more of those, but. Car cat. Oh, carkles. All right, this is not an easy one. Baby girl. Straight to baby girl. Straight yeah. to baby girl. <laughs> Straight to I baby girl. I swear it's not just because of all the Dave cat fics I read. Okay, I promise. And I said absolutely nothing. That's fine. Like again, if you even just wanna like say shit based off of how these guys look. You know what? I'll zoom in a little bit too. So that you can see. A little better. I'll go one more. Go one more. I can't fit everything on the page anyway, so I might as well. <laughs> Hold on. I want to move it over a little bit now. So that you can see it. There we go. Perfect. So sorry for disappearing. That's okay. So in chat just got distracted. Hey, that's perfectly fine. I did miss you though. Oh my god, thanks for coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Kirkat. 
I mean, Carcat's kind of the poster boy for Homestuck, weirdly enough. John, yeah. <laughs> but again, you know? Like, John was initially. Carcat, because everyone, most people that, especially when they aren't initiated into the fandom, the first thing they think of when they hear Homestuck are the trolls, because it's the thing that stands out at cons, it's the thing that stands out in the fan art. Like, what are these little gray guys, with these little candy corn horns? Why do they got Zodiac signs on their shirts, you know? And Carcat is the first one you meet. And he's a little bundle of complexes, and he's a little bundle of fear. And I love that for him. He's so cute. His pest request route is really fucking scary. The poor guy. But the mutant thing, sick as fuck. The inferiority complex, sick as fuck. The growing into his own and becoming a leader, sick as fuck. You know, Night of Blood is a concept. Love that. Love it. Um, even in the epilogues, honestly, Carcut stays winning in every version. Because in me, living his best life with Dave, lovely, love that. In Candy, he became a sick fucking rebellion leader. Like, come on. He, he's so cool. Carcut just wins. He just keeps winning. He keeps winning. I mean, he lost for most of his life, but like now, well, later on, he's winning. You agree with my words? Yeah. Thank you, Barf Man. You know, I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> Just Karma's treating him well. I have another friend that said she might show up at some point and she knows fuck all about Homestuck, so you'll be right there with her. Oh, she she says she can't make it to She can't? All right, well, never fucking mind. Yeah, I can't see Discord from here. That's okay, though. I am in an open VC, so someone might end up showing up. I'm not sure. It's live, so they might get scared and embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Losers! <laughs> all right, anyway, next. Again, All I right. feel like just like with Dave, like, even though there's a lot to say, I feel like most of it's been said before. Uh, everyone so like, said it already. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know yeah. why, you know why he's here. Next Unless you don't. Tan? In which case, even if I were to say it, you probably wouldn't understand anyway. <laughs> Who the freak is Nectan? Nectan? Yeah. Can you, can you spell that? For it, me? Uh, N-E-K-T-A-N. That's gotta be another fan troll. Who the, who put their goddamn fan trolls in this freaking spinner yeah because i'm like listen i don't i'm not good with names but these names they're a troll and i'm like i don't know you like that's not even a, a hive swap troll you know no like they're just uh, making shit court <laughs> courtyard doll droll yes i should i already put him up there no i didn't where is he there he is okay so this is the version that bombed jade I think he's going next to the other one in Baby Girl because they're both the same character. They're the same in, in every universe. He's the same and he's always Baby Girl. Okay. I this think. one is even more Baby Girl because he's got a billion hats on his head and he loves the Jester vibe. So anyway, that that's all you need to know. All right. Spin. Spin. <laughs> Hold on. Equius came back. Equius. You know, that's Dirk adjacent. Should I add that to the counter? No. <laughs> No. No. How again? Again. Speaking, well, you summoned well, okay, him, well, came now, back. now I gotta add it to the counter. God damn it. Fucking hell. Nine. We're almost in double di digits. They're exciting. All right. I got a blue minute again. Ooh, Fefri. You start talking about Fef if you have anything to say. If you have okay. any ideas. I got a blue minute. All I'll right. Be back. All right. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. For Fefri, I like her. I wish she was around a bit longer. Um because she died pretty quickly in comparison True. to everyone. And if I were to think, I was thinking mayhaps boss baby. I think that's pretty... It's either boss baby or baby girl, you know? Yeah. Because like, did she do anything? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I'll put her there for I, now. I let's, feel like boss discuss. baby out because of, uh, I guess, who she is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the fact that she has to manage uh, an eldritch fucking nightmare in her backyard is pretty girl boss of her. That's true. Yeah. But she's also very, very naive. Yeah. In the whole, like, I'm gonna reclaim the word calling and make it mean helping people. I'm like, I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, I don't if know about that. If we created the dream bubbles, that's true. Okay, even that might might be the, uh, the girl bossiness that she needs to stay in boss baby rather than baby girl. Mm-hmm. Because I do love her. I do love her. Yeah. But, again, like, she didn't have a lot of time to breathe. Even yeah. in the dream bubbles, they, sh they didn't even give her anything there. She was just kind of in the background. Mob troll number 12. <laughs> you know. All right. But she's cool. Yeah. Home boss, baby. Next. <laughs> Spin. Spin. Ooh. 
Jack Noir. All right. <clears throat> now, do you think I should just do one of them? Cause we yeah, got... I feel like just mix because they're the same, no? I, I don't know. Maybe I'll start. I mean, yeah, they are kind of exactly the same, except no, this one's a little different because it's mixed with Beck. So what I'm going to do is the first time I'm going to do this one. This one is Spade Slick again. Okay. Or wait, I don't know. They're both Spade no, Slick. No, we already did we already, all right, I'm going to put this one. Yeah. I'm going to leave him down here, actually, because I feel like it's pointless to do this one. It was just Spade Slick earlier on in the timeline, so who cares? So for the first Jack Noir, I'll start with this version. And then if we get him again, we'll go to Beck Noir. And then if we get him again, we'll go to, this is what, like, uh, Union Jack. And I don't even know who the fuck this is. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> anyway, so Jack Noir, I don't know. I'm gonna put him in no thanks, I think. Yeah. He's a little interesting, or maybe, no, nah, I don't think he deserves huh? Cause this is like, mm. This is completely non-contentious. Like, I don't care about you tier. You know, like, these two here are the mid-tiers, which is crazy because there's, like, a billion tiers above, but I, I do like most of the characters, so. A pink turtle? Put them at the top? You know what? You're so right. The consorts should absolutely go in the same tier as the mayor. They deserve yep. it. But they'll be below the mayor. Okay, but I'll put them all up there. They're definitely not on the spinning wheel, so I, <laughs> we'll just get them out of the way. The Nacodiles, uh, we'll order them a little bit more after that. Salamanders are definitely above all the other ones. The Nacodiles can go below because they suck and they're mean to Dave and almost tried to stew him at the stock market. They tried to turn him into soup at the stock market. Anyway. Not soup. Yeah, they even cut onions in there and the Terezi was like, why are you crying, Dave? And he's like, it's the fucking onions. Uh, stop. <laughs> stop bullying me. Uh, that's why he's a baby girl. He gets bullied by Terezi. <laughs> yep. Just like Karkat gets bullied by Terezi. I, mean, I think that I might mean... be another... Uh, <laughs> requirement that yeah getting bullied by terezi mm -hmm. i guess john's gonna have to go in baby girl <laughs> yeah i mean yeah half so, the goddamn cast gets bullied by terezi <laughs> <laughs> she's just two girl boss she's going at the top of girl boss that's for sure yeah. I mean, all right spin yeah i don't know we didn't really talk about jack Noir. i think we should talk a little bit a little bit i mean what is there even to say he's just kind, of a, know, he's just kind of a mean guy before he becomes beck noir Kind of yeah, like, like I feel like I know I remember more about Beck Noir than that. Yeah, than like him. he's just kind of power hungry right now, and he's got ambition and a lot of. He just really wants to stab, you know, and mm -hmm. that's admirable. I think I'm gonna put him ab above these two. I he should go at the top right now. Okay, now next. Okay, Tavris Sprite. Tav Tavris or Tavros? T Tavris. Tavris. Sprites. Okay. Uh, crime against fucking humanity. I think I'm gonna put it in Vriska. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's her fault that it happened and they exploded fucking immediately because it's such a bad idea. Oh, God. <laughs> the that's poor, that, that's a poor creature is what that is. That's a horrific... Put it, put it out of its misery. Yeah, I mean, it put itself out of its misery instantly. It exploded. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, next. Anyways. <laughs> Lungs to stab is so relatable, you're so right. Me too, bro. Uh. Hmm. Wait, did we do that? Hegemonic brute? We know. did. We did. Oh. Uh, okay. Mm. I'm out of wine. This is a tragic occasion. I'm gonna start eating my Among Us cookie. I need a snack or else I'll die. Don't die. I will die. Who's next? Hold on. We had some repeat. Oh. We've made it far enough in. Uh, dual some... Scar. Dual Scar. Okay. I feel like I don't remember Who's much that? about Dual Scar. Dual Scar is Aridin's ancestor. He's hot. Oh. I see. Um, again, I don't really remember much. Didn't Dual Scar is the one who bought um, Delarosa as a slave? I think. I think. Cringe. I don't remember. Okay, cause look. Okay, I tend to skip. A lot of the Marquis journals. Don't hate me. <laughs> Don't hate me. Arania, we, we've we established that Arania is a, a wordy bitch. Okay. Even when she's hot in her hot girl boss phase. I can't. Sometimes I just can't. Like, I know the gist. But Dulscar, I don't know anything. Really. I mean, he had a ship, I think. Maybe. And was rivals? I With the Marquis? Mindfang? 
I don't know. He's gonna go in, huh? I think. Like, I don't even have a strong enough opinion on him to put him in no thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll keep him in hot. We'll put him at the top, though. He should go above. Above those two. Alright. Anyway, next. <laughs> Spin. We are spinning. That one? Oh wait, it's this it's the freaking fan troll again. Oh Damn my it. god again. Pee -pee Kaka, you're back? Oh my god, you know you should have brought your phone to this shitter. I'm just saying. <laughs> Real monomies <laughs> take me into the toilet. <laughs> On their phone. Di so diamonds. That... Diamond Droog. Diamond Droog. Did we? No, we didn't. Okay, so Diamond Droog is the mobster version of the draconian dignitary. I don't know. I feel like I got the same opinions. He's a little cooler than than the dr draconian dignitary. I think. Didn't poop did something else. Liar. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he's just kind of. The, the brains, quote unquote. But I feel like Spades like still did most of the planning anyway, so who cares? Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Next. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of these. A lot of these are just like, eh, keep going. Yeah, we we got we gotta we gotta get through these. Yeah. Mm. Soupy sweep. Look at how many we still have left, cat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been two hours. <laughs> crowbar. Crowbar. Okay, crowbar. He did something important. I like his crowbar. His crowbar is cool. I think he should go into huh instead. Or no, you know what? We'll put him in yeah, okay. Because wow. the crowbar is what let Spade Slick get into the vault. Uh, he's the mm -hmm. only smart one other than Stitch. But he's not as integral, I think. You know? Mm -hmm. Only pay attention to the marquee for the summoner. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I paid attention to the troll Jigas plot, and that is it. <laughs> Anything after they put down the insurrection was like a footnote to me. <laughs> Like, ah, oh, he's dead. Nah, who cares? <laughs> hmm? Like, it's cool, but the most I know about is from that one, um, um, was it Toasty Glow? Or Toasty Hat? Did they? I don't know what they go by now. But, um, that one animation of, of all the ancestors, I think it was called, like, After Us was the name of the animation. It's a really sick animation. I recommend you go watch it if you get the chance or are so inclined. Um, but yeah. It's all cool stuff. There's generally... My brain gets fried. <laughs> it's, oh my. Now, should this count as a Dirk mention? Horse. <laughs> no, this is just Maple Hut. No. Not every horse has to do it. You know, not, not everything no. is about you. Okay, sorry. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> this is horse. rent free. Rent free. <laughs> I. <laughs> Don't be disappointed hmm. in me, please. I am disappointed in oh you. Oh my god. Cards, box, cars. Um, he is the last, other than Spade Slick himself, or 2.0. All right, just to get him out of the way, I think I will. Up him next to whatever Fuck. mobster. All right, mm. I'm gonna put this next to the other one. Where is he? There he is. We'll go in between them. All right. Wait. Next. Did we do? Oh no, we did Black King. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. He's not as hot as the Black Queen, so he doesn't get bumped up a tier. Next. <laughs> Next. Nay. Nay. We should make a show about the Red ancestors. Glare. Red glare. Oh my. Red glare. Where's she? She's so hot. Oh my god. She's girl boss. She's gonna go. Above Dolorosa or below Dolorosa? I don't know. I think they're on equal terms, to be honest. It sucks the way she went out, though. Just getting mind-controlled. Well, she wasn't the one mind-controlled. The entire crowd of the courtroom was mind-controlled by Mind Fang into hanging her, basically. Yeah. But she was so fucking cool. Glare red. Glare red. Anyway, anyone, any of the Pyrops is just so fucking cool. So, girl boss. Next. Girl boss. <laughs> Damn it. An upholder, but who is it? Dirk, Dirk, Strider, add it to the counter. Boys, we've officially hit the double digits. We've hit 10 <laughs> for the Dirk Sightings counter. Well, I'm gonna turn up, turn up the outline size somewhere. I can't turn it up. What, what Wait. Fuck? We did Lil Sub count as part of the Dirk counter? No, 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 because that's not actually Dirk. It's just a little bunny that he made. 
Okay. Just making sure. Yay! That is a very extended and drawn out nay. Just saw the summoner and I picked him up and ran. Face. Nay. We've all got our blorbos. Hold on, it's, it's, we're reaching the point that we've gone through a lot of characters, so we're gonna have some repeats. That's crazy, though, because, like, we still got so many of the base... Like, look at this! <laughs> Surely, from Pop-Up Crocker to John, here, are all on there. This is the horse dying, by the way, how fun. I know! Way, wayward Vagabond? Oh, yeah, baby, the mayor! Oh! Easy. That's his government name? That's his government name, is the wayward Vagabond. I love him. Best character in Homestuck can do no wrong. 10 out of 10. Best boy. I love how much of a fucking menace he starts off as. You there, boy! <laughs> we, I love the mayor. It's so... He becomes he's so a nice joy. and polite just by eating. He's so silly in the early... In Act 1, he's so silly. Or is that Act 2? No, yeah. That's, he starts in Act 2 because Act 2 is when John enters the yeah. medium. But yeah. he's so silly. It's, it's his, he's your first look into like... The, the workings of the game, the inner workings of Spurb. And you're like, who the fuck is this guy a billion years in the future and why does he matter? And then you slowly learn and it's really cool. He's also a cutie pie, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, what else is there to say? If Dave were here, he'd know what to say even more, but no. Yeah, Dave, Dave would have a lot of things Dave to say. Dave has a lot to say about the mayor. He's best friends with the mayor. Anyway, all hail the mayor, you're so right. Mm -hmm. Top tier. Spin. This is kind of the just little guys tier, I think, at this point. The mayor's gonna be top, but like, I think I'll change it to just a little guy because clearly we've, we've shifted gears here. <laughs> Dog doing? scratch. Oh god, okay. Where is he? There he is. So, um, gross. Disgusting. I think he's, he's worse than Lord English. Because again, Lord English is just a ball of rage, you know? Like, there's a little bit of Doc yeah. Scratch in him, but it's drowned out by Caliborn. Yeah. Doc Scratch himself, the cue ball bastard, is a fucking pedo, a manipulator, and he's, he's smug. He's smug. Yeah. Oh my god, he sucks. He, he's responsible for Riska. He is, he is. He manipulated her into being worse, believe it or not. Writing the entire life story of the summoner in fanfic form. Ooh. Ooh. Makes little guys here, but keep mayor in the in the mayor. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Add a robove. It's gonna be. The mayor. All caps because there's it. And the rest are just a little guy. I don't know, maybe we could put Club's Deuce into just a little guy. Well, well look, at the end we'll reevaluate some people and see if we want to move anything urgently. Okay, back to yeah. Doc Scratch. Sucks real bad. Hate, Hate what him. he did. I love that Terezi saw right the fuck through him. I was like, bitch. She fucking somehow manipulated him, the omnipotent huh? bastard, into blowing up Vriska. Like, how do you... Girl boss, she's... She's you so know, cool. You know, I, I like that we've spoken a lot about Terezi that when we finally get to Terezi, we're like, we know. We know. <laughs> we all know. Like, no. we knew from the we fucking know. start. Girl drew her own corpse outline and then fell into it to die. Like, come on. She fixed, she fixed a lot of things. She's so metal. <laughs> She's so cool. She's the, the best seer. The best at being a seer out of all of them. Mm -hmm. I love her. She's so cool. You don't even have to explain it. Like, even Barman, yeah. who knows nothing about Homestuck, has just been hearing us talk about her. He doesn't even know which one Terezi is. It's the one that FR looks like. But, I mean, FR has the uh, the little the scalemate um, jacket on the, that Terezi, so it's a little harder to tell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anywho, next! Uh, Horus. Horus! Piss, baby. He's just a freak. And a cheater. Mm. He sucks. <laughs> That's all I have to say about Horus. All right, next. He's a dance sensor. He doesn't do anything. I'm blowing my nose again. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. 
His fit is kind of cool, the steampunk vibes, but like, uh, he's just a freak. He's a freak. Even giving Rufio like a horse body specifically, like you're really gonna force him into your weird kinks? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, whatever. Um, so we got bro bot. This counts. Yeah. 11. Add it to the counter. We're at 11. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um. Okay, bro bot, you said. Bro bot. Yeah. Bro bot, bro bot, bro bot. What an interesting. So this robot doesn't actually have a personality. So instead, we'll discuss Dirk's intentions. I think here. Mm -hmm. Request Kirk and Mendicant in just a little guys here. Yeah, oh. she definitely is. When we get there, Hold I on. will do that. What are we holding on? <laughs> oh, she's moving. Okay, I'll just keep talking then. So Dirk. So this is <sighs> okay. So as we know, looking up here, Dirk lives. Rent free in my little brain. Hi. Um, Robot is a weird one in his history. Uh, not, not too happy. It's really fucking, it's like, hey, Jake. Hey, Jake, I know you said you were lonely and also that you like fisticuffs. So it made you a version of me that you can have and spar with. Except the only settings on it are beats the shit out of you or is uncomfortably touchy feely with you. Like it's not good. Robot should not be in the mayor tier at all. Because again, no. with Robot not having a personality or a will, we're not going to do a judging on that. We're going to judge He's on just... Dirk's intention, sending it to Jake and what it happened with it. Can you talk about Horus real quick? Absolutely you can if you have more insight. That Oh, I'm going to skip this one just in case it does funny things to the um, copyright strikes. <laughs> but... We're gonna put it in blood, I think, because it's pretty gross. It is. Uh... Pretty gross. Creepy. It's either you end up bruised by the end of the day, or you feel violated. It's not like poor Jake, dude. Poor Jake. <laughs> <laughs> poor oh my god, Jake. this song is so fucking good! Shout out to Vodka Mutini. Ro anything involving Roxy is banger. Anyway. I don't know. I don't really. Next. Just next. Next. <laughs> We've said what needs to be said about Robot. It's just. Again, cool though that Robot can defend Jake Disciple. when it comes down to it. And... Disciple. Okay. Has anyone made Horus Goggles IRL? I'm sure someone's cosplayed Horus and done it, yeah. Uh, where's Disciple? Love her. Disciple's gonna go in Girl Boss. I don't think she's as much of a girl boss as the other ones just because after. After the Silas died, she kind of just secluded herself in caves and was doodling on the walls. Which is cool of her to, to make sure that the scripture can be seen by the future, future generations and shit. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, compared to the other three that are up there right now, you know, they kind of went off. <sighs> so I think that's, that's all that needs to be said about her. Next. Next. I love how... <laughs> big this spike is like if we ignore the girl boss category it's a nice little like you know like the normal curve where it gets yeah. big in the middle and the small in the ends i don't know what that's called i mean piss baby is kind uh, of growing but still summoner the summoner oh uh, i feel bad at interrupting at when they're trying to talk about horus because i know they're gonna want to talk about the summoner because my ass does not remember a lot about him he has a dragon that's sick he's got wings that's sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess girl boss. I'll put him in girl boss. I'll put him in there for now. I know they're gonna want to say something. <laughs> Who's the guy with the mustard yellow hat and red and blue glasses? This one here? <laughs> Matuna, Solux. It's either Matuna or uh, the Psionic right now. Solux isn't up here yet. He's embossed, baby. Okay. All and right, that Matuna. is Matuna. Hello. Oh my god, hi, Ashley. <gasps> Ashley. Do you hi. have opinions on Homestuck characters? <laughs> you're still doing this? Yeah, that's why I'm in the yeah. on air. So you're live right now, just to let you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> hi. hi, YouTube chat. 
<laughs> like advertise your channel. Go, go, go. Yeah, advertise. Oh, um, Yeji draws uh, Y E A uh, uh, J O E E O draws. She's uh, featured YouTube. on the on the main page of my channel under the cool people. If you scroll down a bit, that makes it easy. Yeah, <laughs> she does cool animation stuff. Yeah, she does. O M G, thank you. Yes, and she does a lot of Lego Monkey Kid stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, I'm gonna hold Guilty. off, I, I think, on talking about the summoner because I don't, again, I don't know really anything, and I know AT is gonna want to say something. They're talking about a horror, they're probably still typing out the Horus, or they're doing both at once just to send one big paragraph. I'll read that when it gets here. We're gonna go on to next, though, for right now. Next, spin the wheel. But yeah, so if you want to add your insight, Ashley, if you join the stream that is in uh, the Discord, you can just, just by how they look. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. You can, you can judge their character this time. <laughs> <laughs> me, In like, you literally stuff. explained to me, like, Homestuck, but every time I, it just, like, leaves my brain. <laughs> and when you're like, out I, just, yeah. I don't blame you. It's very hard to, like, stick in your head unless you're actually reading it. Yeah. Okay, but By the way, next character is Rose Lalonde. Oh, a good one, a good one. Okay, hold on, hold on. AT message. Okay. I don't like Horace. He's creepy. His relationship with Rufio is weird, based. Uh, from the fact that he's kind of weird about dating Rufio as a low blood and a mutant, I have more to say. Hold on. All right. I'm going to keep reading them as they come, AT, okay? So I'm gonna, but in between, we're just going to move on. All right. So who was it? Uh, Rose, you said? So Rose, yes. that is easiest Rose. in my life, girl boss. Easiest girl boss of my life. Is she above? No, she's not above Jade because she's still a kind of a piss baby about it, you know? True, but... Mm. She's got a superiority complex. You can't, oh you can't God, compare- I, I'm like just noticing my little Lego guy yeah, in the boogies. stream. I got yeah. boogies to represent people. If at any point you oh, want to send gee. me some like, um, like Kat drew a picture of herself for it. Right now it's just taking your Discord profile, but I could do like an you open know, mouth I'm and a close okay mouth. with my little Lego guy. Yeah, it works. It works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's trans I have Evie snuggling with mm -hmm. me. Oh, the baby. Let him cook. He's cooking. It's true. Okay, so Rose. Rose, 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 Rose one. She's obviously could kill you with a look. But also, again, like, her ego is how she got manipulated by the piss baby down here. You know, into and going grim dark and, like, trying to dismantle. And that's how she was com not complicit, but she ended up helping in the Lord English thing, but that was bound to happen. Anyway, it's a complicated situation. But again, Jade is cooler. Dog girl cooler than goth girl, I guess. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. What the heck are the four little guys at the top? At Why the do top? they look like that? <laughs> they're, they're just little guys. Okay, so basically in the game that the kids play, they're the NPCs that give you quests. The little lizards. <laughs> mm. So they don't really mean anything, so they go in the just the little guy category. <laughs> They're just kind of around. I mean, unless we want to count this as Casey, in which case, I don't know, I feel like Casey would be the only one to sit with the mayor, but it's not actually Casey, so we're not gonna. Mm -hmm. Also, your yeah. model is so cute. It's so Thank cute. You. I made a home It's one. so well rigged. <gasps> really? Oh my god. You make yeah. me blush. Don't look. Okay, wait, hold on. If I, like, look, I don't know. How do I... Was it looking down or looking up? It's looking down. At my hair part, there's, like, a, a piece of my skull you can see peeking through. Anyway. It was made in the free version of Live 2D, so it's a little scuffed, but you get the point. <laughs> Silly girl cooler than goth girl based. Why isn't yep. the pink turtle at the top of the little guys list? Because obviously the salamanders and Casey got the most flesh fleshing out without killing, trying to eat somebody. So they go to the top. Oh, hold on. I got to skip this. Fucking, I was not paying attention. Even if it is a shitty cover, I'm going to skip the... Don't want to close um... my eyes. Add, 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 add to the to the Dirk Strider counter. What happened? Oh Ow. my god, he came up again. Oh, fucking rent for you, I swear to god. Dirk Strider. Bastard. The summoner is great. Uh, Ramble about him in the Discord. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll look at that after. I'm, I'm assuming that you're okay with the girl boss placement of him, though. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Hold on. <laughs> Some repeats again. <laughs> How? Look at all the characters we have left. There I know, I know. Oh my god, what Wait, is this? Robot? Oh. Bro, wait, who? 
robot count we, part of the third yes, trader counting? No, right. I have to count it again. This. <sighs> Just heart player things. <laughs> Ugh. There's so many. This motherfucker lives rent free in our heads and he keeps showing up. That's why we have a counter. Over the past yeah. roughly two and a half hours, he's showed up 13 times. <laughs> Sawbuck. Sawbuck. Is that this one? I think that's this one. Look, he's the same. Next. He's Next. Going in the, the stupid felt here. I feel like soon we'll we'll just go in order. Yeah. Roxy. <laughs> Roxy. Okay, finally some good fucking food. So obviously. <laughs> She's gonna go. Oh, is she girl boss or is she baby boss or boss baby? Because like obviously she's very um, girl boss. I'd say boss baby. Yeah. Yeah. But she's top of it though. Because she's yeah, leaning she's, closer she's to girl the leader. boss than baby girl. You know. She's the leader of the of the boss baby. <laughs> girl boss. Yeah, that's a, it's a hard one because she's really fucking good. And after she get um not gets over. That's not the right word, but overcomes, I guess, her alcohol addiction. She is the glue that holds her entire session together. And she's amazing alcohol and perfect. Alcohol addiction? Yes, at yeah. the age of 16. <laughs> Though to be fair, she was what? living in an entirely post-apocalyptic earth covered in water where only her and one other man exists. And that other man is this motherfucking bastard in anime shades. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings oh my about God. this. <laughs> but she's also a badass sniper who really looks up True. to her theoretical mother who is long dead by that point and uh, she's just she's really tragic she's also a little no, she you're knows how to keep me it silly her into girl boss bro i know i think she'd go next to a... no she's top she'd be top yeah if, if she's in girl listen, boss she's at the top of whatever fucking category she's in and that's all there is to say <laughs> on the matter listen gr the girly overcame her alcohol addiction mm -hmm. i say that's pretty good well, that is girl boss yeah so, and she did it by herself because everyone did. else is busy with their everyone drama. Everyone else was too busy with their stupid, her. dumb love triangle. And she's like, guys, hey, could we just like chill for a second? I know this is a very life or death situation, but like, hey, this ain't this ain't the vibe. Ooh, forcing a lot of his interest onto Rufio, and from Rufio's dialogue, he's really only talks about himself. Yeah, 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 I know, right? I mean, where the relationship started also probably influenced how crappy it was. Yeah, look, I mean. From the moment I saw that the body Horace built for him was a horse, I was like, mm, something ain't right. You, I know Rufio didn't want to be a horse, okay? I know this wasn't him. And if you're anything like Equius, because, you know, Equius with Aradia, he fucking built her a robot body only because he wanted to program her to like, to, like, love him, you know? And they're related, so, mm, same shit. Anyway, he's trash. Anyway, <laughs> or a star. spin wheel. Next. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Next. Ms. Paint. <gasps> Miss Paint. There she is. Oh yeah. Top of just a little guy. Miss Paint is our trusty assistant. She is the embodiment of Ms. Paint. <laughs> and she's perfect, <laughs> and I love her. Moving on. Oh my God. Pour him. <gasps> Pour him. Orm is cool. Uh, I, I feel like I have to reread some of her dialogue because I haven't read it in a long time, a couple years, and I'm not entirely certain of how good of a feminist representation she is. But for Troll Society, she is a feminist, and that is very girl boss of her. Um, doesn't want to be a broodmother. Love that. Base. We'll put her, we'll put her under a radia, I think, in girl boss. But again, like, I don't remember a lot of the Dancestors because they're kind of mid, you know, in general. Unless you get like really into them, you know? But my ass was too busy thinking about Roxy. So, <laughs> Roxy and Dirk. So I think that's good for now. Next. Yep, next. Right. May we spin the wheel round and round and round. <laughs> it might be time for going in order soon. Cankry. Cankry, okay. Oh dear. Cankry <laughs> is... No thanks. He's gonna be in no thanks. He had potential again if he wasn't a dead teenager to character develop as mentioned earlier but as of right now Kankri is just a caricature of a tumblerina who is way too performatively into social justice that 
he's just talking over the voices of the actual, you know, minorities. So he sucks, basically, is what I'm getting at. He has the potential to not suck, but he sucks. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to go and no thanks for the wasted potential. Uh, anyway, next. <laughs> next. Do we want to just go in backwards order now? I guess so. We'll do, we'll do Lil Cal, because at this point, there's, there's too many repeats. Lil Cal? Yeah. I don't think I want to put Lil Cal himself in the piss, baby. We'll put him at the top of the... He's the leader of the blah section. Lil Cal is the demonic puppet that influenced this guy into beating the shit out of his kid brother. So he sucks, but like, he can't physically do much. He can only influence the people around him through like nightmares and visions and like the whispers of the damned or whatever. And he can TP around, but he can't like hurt you. He's just kind of going around. Unless, you know, Dirk punches you in the face while holding him, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> yep. So he's just gonna go in and blah because every other iteration of him further on is worse. That's all we really gotta say about him. Next mm -hmm. is um, Doomed Calliope. Doomed Calliope is probably I don't know, not top of girl boss. She's close though. Yeah. Because girlie's dead as fuck, but she is still determined to fix this shit and kill her brother. Every version of her brother that exists. To destroy the world. You see Nicolas Cage? That's true. He's in here. Specifically, this is Wait, the Nick Cage what? from Con Air. What? <laughs> uh, this is Con Air Nick Cage. Thank you. I mean, it probably is meant to represent Nick Cage as a whole, but specifically, you know. Con Air is the iconic movie in Homestuck. <laughs> I, the only reason mm -hmm. why I know about Con Air is because of Homestuck. Anyway. Wait, is that Hussy? Hussy? Yeah, Hussy's in here. Hussy's gonna be next. Alright, so bottom tier. <laughs> bottom tier, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I... Oh, we were talking about Calliope. Yeah, so she's still um, influencing behind the scenes, even though her bitch brother is still trying to kill her because they're both determined this is not the vibe. No beatdown. Pumpkin Carvings is better. <laughs> this goofy ass song. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, okay, so both versions of the Cherubs are just trying to kill the fuck out of their sibling. And I'm glad Calliope wins. She's a badass in Act 7. Her whole conductor shtick was really hot. Anyway, hear, hear me out. She's hot. <laughs> Dude, focus. I can't. I have two glasses of wine. I'm a fucking lightweight. Anyway, and your right. hussy himself. Uh, garbage. Piss baby. Yeah. Enough said. By the way, know. Emma, uh, and your hussy is the creator of Homestuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the uninitiated. So he goes into bottom tier. Yeah. What, you want me to... Uh, you know what? I feel like he should go in the risk of tier. Yeah. He deserves it. Since you, since you want to kiss her so bad. Fucking loser. <laughs> anyway, Nick Cage? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> He'll go above those two. <laughs> there we go. I don't think that anyone has anything more to say about that. Nick okay. Cage. <laughs> I very Ru much did not like the robot is that body. Rufio? This is Rufio, up? but specifically the imaginary friend version of Rufio that lives inside of Tavros's head, the embodiment of Tavros's self-worth. So I'd say, yeah, okay. Okay. I'd say that, because he's not no, like a real actually... person. Yeah, Rufio, it... Uh... <laughs> Literally Dante Bosco from Hook, yeah. basically. Yeah. That <laughs> Rufio, that is, that is the one. Yep. There is a drawing of Dante Bosco. Him. Yeah, it's just literally him. Also, Dante Bosco is a homestuck, just so you know. Yeah, he voice he voice acted uh really Rufio, voice acted yeah. the character in that. That is so cool of him. It really is his yeah. face. He also made a music video of something cosplaying as this guy. It's really funny. <laughs> Poorly drawn Dante Bosco, my favorite homestuck character. You know what? I think you're right. I think it where the fuck did I put him? He's going in just a little guy too now. <laughs> yeah. He's going at the bottom of it though. Because again, he doesn't really do anything. It's just Tavros' way to try and stick up for himself, but it doesn't fucking work. He just ended up dead in the ground anyway. Poor yeah. guy. He's, he's. He ended pages, up with no legs right? and then dead in the ground. Yeah, no legs, no bitches, no future. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the universe. Um, the universe. I feel like this is kind of. Yeah. I mean. Okay. What's there to say about the universe that the trolls gave cancer? I don't, whatever. It's. It, it exists and it's where we live so anyway moving on pyro spite girl boss nope boss baby because kind <laughs> of a baby 
Does this include regular Pyral Spite or is Pyral Spite... Okay, no. Because Terezi's Pyral Spite is over here. Mm hmm Or not Pyral Spite, but, you know, Dragon Lucis. So maybe Girl Boss. We'll put it in Girl Boss. Because that is just a big fucking dragon that will eat you. <laughs> not much else to say. <laughs> not much. Next! The right, fucking uh, troll drones? Okay, blah, I guess. This kill, kill people if you're crippled or mutant. Anyway. Uh, square wave. Just a little guy. This is why I'm starting from the bottom, because these are the quick ones. Yeah. We're zooming. Sawtooth. Um, I don't know. It feels like a baby girl. Boss baby. Boss baby. We'll do boss baby. Just a rapper. They're just little rappers. Mm. You know, I like this This music is matching the the speed right yeah, now. The speed that we're going. This is speed round. <laughs> um, so this is Liv Tyler. Boss Baby. I think above Matuna, but below Nepeta. Makes sense for Liv Tyler. This is the mm -hmm. bunny from the movie Con Air. I don't know how much you know about Con Air starring Nick Cage. But there's a, a plush bunny that is his daughter's. I think it gets stolen. Anyway, it's a dirty fucking plushie of a bunny. And Dave buys this literal bunny from the movie for his best bro, John, for his birthday. And that bunny goes on a journey through timelines and getting repaired and broken a million times over until it becomes this cyborg monstrosity with a billion weapons. So kind of boss, baby, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> You know, I like that my only knowledge of Con Air starring Nick Cage is from Homestuck. Yep, yep. I, I don't think I want to watch the movie. I think it's more magical I never if watched... I don't know. I see it on Netflix. I'm not, I did not watch it. It's not clicking on it. Serenity. Girl boss. Bottom of girl boss, though. But Serenity goes in here. Only thing holding it together uh, between the mayor, the mayor saving her, and then speaking in Morse code to Roxy, who somehow understands... Um, based. Love her. Next. That's why Roxy's Maple Hoof. A uh, tragic horse death. I don't know. Huh. Maple Hoof is a, a horse that gets gifted to one of the kids for their birthday because their parent is rich. And then eventually through timeline shenanigans ends up dead in a meteor with some other guy. And then this motherfucker taxidermies it into a, a bib oh, for Dave. It, it, he, oh, tans, he tans the dead horse leather and turns it into a bib. For a, his baby little kid that he's about to abuse what? for 13 years. This shit's wild. <laughs> yep. That is crazy. What the heck? Yeah, pour one out for Maple Huff, everybody. R.I.P. Horsey. Rip Maple Huff. This is a good song for the... Wait, that horsey is literally the... I wanted a pony for my birthday and it didn't work out. Did not work out. Jasper? Just a little guy. Yeah. Regular little Jasper cat. can go there, I think. Just a cat. The crow? <laughs> I love the crow. Feathery asshole. Um, I don't know where you put him. I feel like just a little guy again. Like it's just yeah. a, it's just a crow, you know. <laughs> I love crows. Not as cool. He's as holding Jasper. little pictures. It is that's actually the game that they're about to play? Oh. And in trying to retrieve that game from it, uh, Dave kind of skewered it with a katana. Anyway. <laughs> R.I.P. But it, it wasn't dead forever, because then he took that and then threw it into the game. It lives on, anyway. What'd you say about asshole? Uh, it's a feathery asshole. He's a feathery asshole. Well-known quote from Honk Stonk. Anyway, the guys from the ICP, um, Insane Clown Posse, I don't know, huh? Just toss <laughs> them all up in there. Dude, my throat at this point, I've been yelling too much. Uh, yeah. Guy Fieri, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> We'll put him next to Nick Cage. Guy Fieri? Yeah, it's Guy Fieri. He gets uh, stabbed in the eyes and then ridden down a waterfall for being a dictator. <laughs> what? <laughs> ICP are gonna be, run for president this year, by the way. Look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Calliope's Appa mom. Apparently this year's election is when the world ends. Yeah. I feel like According... whenever you guys explain anything about Homestuck, it just sounds like you're just explaining a dream that you've had, like, the night before. Oh, like... I have had dreams about this. <laughs> oh, me too. Don't make me talk about my Dirk Strider dreams again. I don't remember. We're gonna that. add that to the counter because we brought him yeah, up Yeah, I guess we brought him up. Fucking rent free! <laughs> Jesus, I hate this guy. <sighs> okay. 14. I put Calliope's parents into, huh, because... They were literally just there to describe how cherub reproduction works, and that's it. So who gives a fuck? 
Anyway, the con this. Okay. Oh. As much as I love Roxy, Jade, et cetera, et cetera, she's got a she's top of girl boss, and there's no arguments you could say to tell to like get me literally to the gas like gay key girl boss. She is get lit gas like gay. She is space. Oh my god, it's the song. Fr don't say it. Fr I swear to God. <laughs> oh no. Um, she uh -oh. is space. Nicki Minaj fish Hitler is what she is. And if that's not girl boss, I don't know what is. You know. <laughs> She deserves it. No, no, I see that. Hey, you put that back, <laughs> young man. <laughs> Don't you? No! <laughs> Swear to God. Hey, so Emma, when are you gonna finish the animation? <laughs> it's not. I'm not. I can't. Do, I, I may have a degree in it, but I'm not a fan of animated. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other stuff. I like all the other parts. <laughs> it would be cool. Except it wouldn't be because it would look so bad because I'm not the best at animating. It would be cool if you did. How about I just make other Homestuck content? How about I just make new animatics so you can enjoy new things instead of old things except I make them look worse? <laughs> if, I, I think the best I could do to finish it would be to just clean it up. Okay. That would look better. If I were to animate it, it would just be abysmal. I can't. Every time I've tried it, it just does not work out. And I've tried like three separate times. Anyway, I'm moving on. Um, Why do you have a glass next to you? Oh, um, if people sub or don't know, little things go on. Oh, okay. It, it breaks half the time, though. Someone subbed earlier really and there's nothing in there, so who knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of there. I mean, it was kind of nice when I was still drinking wine. Now I just have a cough drop in my mouth because I've been screaming for uh, almost three hours now. <laughs> I do right. have a degree, but like, to be fair, I focused more on, you know, character design and boarding and voice acting than I did on the animation, which is weird because I did a lot of animating, but it was mostly just out of obligation. <laughs> anyway, the Marquis, also girl boss. She's kind of, she did girl boss the fuck out of um, Red, Glare, Red Glare. So she'll go above Red Glare. She's a pirate on the high seas. Just doing, doing hot girl shit, to be honest. Good for her. Good for her. And then she also kissed the Dolorosa, I think, eventually, which is really hot. <laughs> hot of her, not like hot that they kiss. I promise. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I made it weird. Moving on. Troll Jesus. Troll Jesus. Troll Jesus. Should I? No. Rent no. free. Rent free. I think about him a lot. Rent free. There also, we go. Also, fun fact, um, in, in a a version of speech he was voiced by the voice actor of Deku, which I think is very funny to just listen to Deku scream fuck. Yep. Why did you get a degree in animation? That's a fun question, actually. I picked it specifically because it was a, a very broad major. You know, you'd think that animation is a very small one, but you learn about script writing, you learn about, you know, character design, voice acting, sound design. You learn a lot of shit. There's a lot that goes into animating something. So I did that just so I could get the most like a little taste, a little taste of everything. And then I had to suffer through animating like four films, but whatever, <laughs> besides the point. <laughs> I truck through it because I'm, I'm a winner. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, uh, bro Dave, Dave bro, um, David, David Elizabeth Strider. Uh, not, no thanks, I was, he's I, don't know, like, I feel like he's still baby girl to be honest. Yeah. Even though he did girl boss, um, the fuck out of the ICP and kill them. Um, I think any any version of Dave is gonna be baby girl. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. <gasps> Pumpkin party and see Hitler's water apocalypse. Mm. Banger. I have such a good song. Um. Oh, okay. This is PM, but the version of PM that also has a god dog in her. Um, girl boss for sure. <laughs> Winner. There's so many girl bosses. I know. That's the thing. Hussy is really good at writing girl bosses. Girl boss, PM. Deciding where she should go. I think here. Yeah. This feels right. More girl boss than those guys, but not quite as girl boss as those. Um, Winslow. Oh my Weston. god, I haven't heard this song in a million years. It is a good one. Winslow Question. I'll put. I think I that's so funny. Uh, so I remember, I, I think I mentioned that this song, I see it as Ashley's theme. Really? Huh? 
Huh? <laughs> this song I associate with you for some reason. I wonder why. It's interesting. <laughs> I, no, I think it's because of the Wheat Kingdom fiasco. I think oh, that's Oh cool. my god. Oh my god, that was so long. We gotta make a Minecraft server. I'm gonna make a sub server. I'm gonna pay for it. That's what I should do. I keep I keep having this <laughs> the feminine urge to buy Discord Nitro. Uh, I think that would be better spent on maybe a Minecraft server that we can all hang out in, both my friends and my chatters. Mm -hmm. Just whenever to be open permanently, not like an Eterno server where I have to manually open it. But also Cat, I might have to ban you from it because that sounds dangerous for you. It does <laughs> sound pretty dangerous for me. Girl gets obsessed. <laughs> All right, hold on. This guy, boss baby. This is the the one obsessed with like shooting shit. But, like, also, who cares? <laughs> PM. PM's just a little guy. PM before she picks up the sword goes top of just a little. No, when we when it comes to little guys, these are definitely more little guys than PM. But she's still just a little guy. White king who gives a shit, uh, we'll put it next to the black king, because they're the same. White queen, go next to black queen, because they're both hot. <laughs> this one, I don't even know who the fuck this is. You're like, huh? So it's going in huh, but like the bottom of huh, because I literally, which version of Jack even are you? I don't know, there's too many. Uh, Union Jack, um, no thanks. I don't know. I feel like no thanks. <sighs> maybe blah. Just because kind of came out of nowhere and like didn't do anything. We're just kind of around. Like obviously in um, Collide, Terezi, Dirk, and um, Dave were the ones fighting him. And, like that's all he did. He was just a body to fight. So who gives mm -hmm. a shit? So he'll, he'll go and blah. Not contentious enough to go and piss baby, but like I don't care for him. Kind of shit tier. Beck Noir. Now here's something to talk about. Now that's some some food. This is some some. I feel like Beck Noir is kind of baby girl. I'm gonna be honest. Interesting. Because the thing is, is that now that he's got the dog in him, he got that dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> he's now physically incapable of hurting Jade because his dog side loves her too much. And also, I, that was pretty cute. Also, Beck Noir falls helplessly in love with PM, which is kind of baby girl of him, to be honest. And like, yeah. even even in Collide, the whole time that there was, it was supposed to be a big fight, but since it was just him, PM, and Jade, it was really passive. <laughs> oh my God, crank it! I just detest a man afraid to go home in the dark. I always spend my evenings when there's women, wine, and song. But like a man, I always bring my little wife along. I'm a member of the Midnight Crew. I'm a night owl and the wise. I'm being so fucking cringe today, but I mean, it's, this is my 413 celebration, even if it's a day late, so we're doing it. Yep. Okay. Live your cringe life. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. You are cringe, but you are free. I would like to let you know my partner from yesterday. I told her about you, and then I told her you are the source of <laughs> any nerd nerdness. Oh, like, you anything think I'm cringe bad, about you, you is my, be my well, friend. Okay. I won't say anything cringe about you because the LPS shit was not my fault. <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> that had nothing to do with me, but everything else, yes. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm also the old... um, living yeah, my cringe yeah. era by <laughs> being so obsessed with Ninjago right now. Hell yeah. But wait, hold on. Hold mm. on. I... Did, did Kai die? <gasps> Spoilers! God, you're live! <laughs> um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but he doesn't die. Okay. But something okay. does happen to him, which I was like so like, oh, what the heck? What? Why would the writers... What? Why would they do this? Oh, but that's I, need I, just that You're so right. I need to you... watch this show. Okay, I will say Dragons Rising, like, I think they got, like, like, different writers to write it, but it's like, they did everything, like, anything that's wrong about OG Ninjago, like, they basically fixed it in Dragons Rising, and I'm, like, so happy oh. about it. I don't know anything about Ninjago, I'm, like, just kind of sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, okay. I need to get into this because yeah, I'm a Ninjago baby. You are, you are. We're back. 
to Clover, finally. Yes. Horny as fuck, this guy. I don't know. Baby girl. He's like the most baby girl. Simply yeah. because of the trying to bang. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I think that makes sense. He doesn't do anything. He just kind of fucks around. Little guy! Me Muty! Muty! I think Muty goes I top of her. just little guy. Muty is the best. Muty is in the bottom left because I love her. Clover in Clover tier. I'm not doing that. I'm not making another tier. This thing is bloated enough, okay? Oh my god. Okay, Beck? Just a little guy! That's a good boy. That's just a good dog best. Wait, that's not even Beck. That's, um, um, Hallie. Haley? That is what? Grandpa's dog. Oh! Yeah, different. Different one. Or is that... Yes. No, yeah, that is Grandpa's dog. Before, like, yeah, just regular uh, ass. Yeah, doesn't have eyes. Yeah. Or a face. <laughs> so we'll put him there instead. Beck will go next to Muty. Uh, G-Cat. <laughs> kind of sucks, actually. No thanks. Bitch. That's the Condus' lackey. Gross. Gross. Okay, there's Beck. Okay, right, now, now, that's now good next dog. to Muty. There we go. Good dog, best friend. Jaspro Sprite Squared. I don't know, boss boss baby? Because she's yeah. still she's still got Rose's like girl bossness, but she's also half cat now. <laughs> I think that fits, especially yeah. because uh Napeta's right there. <laughs> yeah, I think they're no next two. Next two. And then they kiss. Really want to have Clover's power get yeah, just so absurdly lucky that nothing can touch you. Honestly, that sounds so good. What would that be? Would that be like uh, definitely the light aspect, but class-wise, maybe an air, air of light. Oh. Because that happened to John a bunch, where the wind would just kind of save him randomly. Maybe mm. an air of light would just be so passively untouchable and lucky. Dave Petta Sprite squared. I. I will say I like that's their boss design. Baby. That's stuff. also boss baby. I think even more that's even more boss baby than Nepeta. They are so fucking cool. Yes. <laughs> Literally become I also like, like their design. I just think it's neat. Mm hmm Dude. These these both of them are just so ripe for fan designs. I just wanna draw them. And the muscle man should go in mayor tier? It's not happening. Oh, you mean Arthur Sprite? Honestly, this one didn't even... A lot of the trolls' sprites just didn't even do anything. I'll probably just put them all into huh. 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 Because huh. the thing... I'd rather talk about their, their loose eye, which is the same thing, just not shoved in a kernel yet. Okay, now this one... Baby girl. Because we've we've heard um, Pyro Sprite Sprite talk. That's not baby girl. Where's baby girl? There it is. Baby girl, a little, little bit more baby girl than AR, I think. And how? Troll sprite tier? Yeah, I might have to. Okay, well. Because huh, is getting bloated again. God damn it. <laughs> Add a row above. Troll sprites. Resident sleeper. Because, like, they never did anything. You saw, I'm sure, but... It was just kind of in the background. Some of them did, like um, Aradia Sprite. But I feel like, okay, this is another version of Aradia that's just a ghost that doesn't have a lot of feelings going on. Oh, so, yeah, okay. okay. This one's a little bit better because she rivets sometimes, which is funny. <laughs> Very funny of her. Very silly. This is just a frog. So who gives a shit? Okay. Arasol. Aye, aye. He's kind of a bitch. He does not want to talk to any of the humans. He is constantly flipping people off and just like walking away. He's the worst parts of Aridin and Solux smushed together. <laughs> Can't believe that was a ship. People are just like, oh really? my god. Yeah, no, Aerosol was a big ship. Big ship. Oh. A Aerosol. Aerosol was a big ship. Aerosol was the good ship of Duradian and Solux. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, no, AR Queen one. Sprite is baby girl. Top of baby girl, not gonna lie. Something about the way that he's just wants everyone to look at his muscles is <laughs> kind of baby girl <laughs> to me. I don't know why. I don't know why, because that's kind of in theory that is inverse baby girl. 
He's like, touch my muscles. <laughs> I don't know. He just the way that he's so excited about being his freak self. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm I feel like I'm just rambling, but also you probably don't have much to say about these less interesting. I really don't. Yeah, so until we get to like, like... I'm, wait I'm waiting till we get to the top, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones you have things to say about. I'm so mad about Fafeta Sprite because she never talked. <laughs> I'm gonna say, huh, because I'm mad. Should I go top of huh? Because she's cooler. But Roxy was always talking about how Fafeta Sprite was the coolest person to talk to and how she had the best advice and could talk about relationships all day because she's feffery in that, but uh, I eat two really cool gals. But the joke that Hussy did to fuck with us because he hates us and he's a bitch was, oh yeah, but you never get to hear her talk until, and then she dies, so. Great. Annoying Inga. Not but a sprite. Um, I put her in there. She didn't really do anything. Tav. Rose. I guess that's just Tavro Sprite is the name of it. Um, baby girl. Poor, poor guy's allergic to himself. He's allergic to cats. Riska, oh, you're a bitch for doing that to him. This is Dream Jade Sprite. A lot of these are just iterations of the same sprite. I'm gonna put him. Okay. We're gonna change this to Sprite Deer. Because a lot of these are like interim Sprite forms. And like, there's a little bit more to say about um, Jade Sprite. Because she's the one who had the really, she was really freaked out about being brought back to life in the Sprite form and was like crying a bunch. And then a live Jade slapped the shit out of her. So there was like something to say. But then Beck pretty much immediately threw himself into her, so. Oh, they're just a regular Beck Sprite. Wait, that doesn't make... Oh, no, that's after. They're both the same. You get the point, though. Beck threw himself <laughs> into... Whatever. Who cares? Cow Sprite! Jesus Worst Christ, what have I walked into? Oh, my God. Yeah. Hi, Michael. <laughs> cool. uh, just in case you didn't notice which channel you clicked on, you are live on stream yeah, right now. Oh, I'm well aware. <laughs> Hello. Uh, look, I we've done. Hour. We've done I saw the so much. Three-hour mark. We've done so much, and there's. Look at how many are still left. I, uh, and we're speeding through them. We right are now. going hyper speed. How do you know all these characters? Oh, because I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> if you have anything to say, even about just how they, whoever we're talking about looks, you probably won't until we get to these guys because these are really quick ones. I'm going through all the shit ones who no one cares about real quick. Well, I, I won't say no one cares about, but there's less to say about them. This is the crow oh, sprite. The cat, so like, the cat who, thing looks fun. Who cares? Wait, is this one? Jasper's? Yeah. Or this is just a Jasper sprite. Actually, a very good companion, I must say. Very cute. Uh, that's literally just Rose's cat, but he can talk now. So we'll put that in just a little guy again. We'll put it above normal Jasper. That's what he looked like when he was just a cat. <laughs> This is a weird fucking song right now. I feel like this is what a panic attack is like. <laughs> this is what a panic attack is like. Every cellos and Emma trying to describe what a ghost cat looks like. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? Anyway, this is dead grandma. <laughs> is there a hairy That's man a dead on grandma. Stream? Yeah, Michael, I don't even know what that icon is. That's just his icon on Discord. Are we gonna, are we gonna get banned? Are we gonna get demonetized? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, but probably not. It's it's Nathan Fielder. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> um. Anyway, I feel like Nana Sprite is boss baby actually, because she's just a prankster. Be a granny prankster. Yeah, this is another bullshit sprite that no one cares about. So it's going in the sprite tier. Okay. Space Cthulhu. No, mm, blah. No, no thanks. Maybe no thanks. Something about that, something about that name. Space Cthulhu goes in blah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Fafari's Lusa. So basically raised her. But also this creature this mass of tentacles with a beak um has the potential to make a noise so horrific and loud that it literally exterminates life in the universe so it kind of sucks <laughs> but, also, but that's powerful right it is powerful but i don't like is this it. A tier, like a power tier ranking no. or just like an opinion this is opinion on personality and actions got it 
Yeah, but I just don't really care for it. Again, it didn't really do much. It didn't actually end up killing anybody, I don't think. Um, not directly, at least. So, she's got that going for it. This is just Aridin's dad, seahorse dad, who... Uh, it's going in sprites here. It's not actually a sprite. We'll put sprite slash. Oh my god. Lucis. Lucis that I don't care about. Goat dad. Eh, it's a little worse. No thanks for abandoning Gamzee and leaving him to become worse. Arthur, just a guy. Just a little guy. Poor, the poor thing. Just getting beaten up by his son all the time, forever. Spider Mom. Is that is no. she Piss Baby? Yes. I think she's Piss Baby. She's the reason why Vriska has murdered so many people. Mm -hmm. And then thought it was then okay to murder more people. Secret Bull yep. for little guy tier, you're so the honestly based. I don't know, I feel like Spider Mom above Union Jack. Well, Union Jack should definitely be worse than those two. Spider Mom also. Or... No. Not worse than Aridin because she is just a giant spider with, you know, just giant spiders gotta eat, you know. Aridin just killed for fun? Question mark. Uh, Pyro Spite. <laughs> Just a little guy. This is a cutie pie. Uh, the virgin Bug. mother grub. Bug. This is virgin mother grub. It's huge. This is about the size of a bus. <laughs> um. Big bug. Nah, this is gonna go in the. The book. mayor. The mayor. The Such mayor. A, the best character what? in Homestuck, you mean? <laughs> what? I'm surrounding him in hearts. That's how good he is. So pure, cool. so clean. Good for him. Good for him. He's a little guy, Mayor. Pounce de Leon. Just a little guy. That's just a cat, is what that is. Above the feathery asshole, but still below Square Wave and Ethereal Rufio from Hook. <laughs> uh, Crab Dad. That's eh, kind of just a Lucis. I mean, Carcat was really broken up when he died, but. Biclops dead. It's a biclops, no. actually. So there. Okay. <laughs> Two heads, each with one eye. All right. Tinkerbell. Really high up. High up. Above Miss Paint. Oh, no. Tinkerbell goes there. Tinkerbell, my beloved. <laughs> Hello, Safrika. She could have hunted instead of making Friska. You're right. I mean, maybe she was too big. Maybe her legs. Died. I feel like this is gonna create a new like diagnostic in DSM. <laughs> fucking, what would you just say to me? Would you just call my mother? I don't know. This is a ratty is loose. Who cares? This is okay. a new level. John. Okay, <laughs> Pop Up Crocker. I don't really have much to say about him either. He was just a, a prankster comedian who was long dead, and we really don't even get to see him because. The kids have trolls in their sprites instead of their dead parents. So I guess, yeah, okay. Huh. Because it is, it is John, a version of him. But you know. Oh yeah. Scared. By the way, Nick Cage is on this yeah, list. Yeah, Nick Cage from Con Air. Is very um, cool. What is he? He just yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't really do anything. He's in the background and he probably died instantly in the, in the meteor Cage showers. In Con Air. All right, he'll go to baby also, girl. Guy on yeah, this Guy list. Fieri was right, right next I'll, to him. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's my one contribution to this list. I'm gonna go now, but <laughs> there's also the um, ICP. <laughs> the what? The, the insane clown posse. Oh uh, well, they can stay in huh? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you had the opinion. I have a strong feeling for this. All right, All right. good night, y'all. Have a good night, Kenny. Good night. See ya. <laughs> what a loser! Imagine not staying for the rest. We're up to the fun part too. Well, other than Colonel Sassaker, let's get him the fuck out of here because who gives a shit? Uh, huh. Okay. Yeah. Grandpa, Grandpa Harley. Hmm. So, in the comic proper, he's just kind of cool? Question mark? Because he sets up a lot of shit. He makes sure that Jade's dream self is around. He knows a lot about homes like he sure does. <laughs> um... But then in Hive Swap, we get the fact that he apparently had a, a mistress somewhere and another two kids that he just abandoned. <laughs> Which is not- That's not good. That's not very cash money of him, you know? Mm. So, uh, he's gonna have to go in no thanks, I think. 
probably next to just above Mom Lalonde, I think. Important Bear. guy, bad dad. Yeah, exactly. And like, he didn't really, maybe he would have done something similar with Jade, but the thing is, is he never got the chance because Tavros shot him with good intention. Uh, so Jade was left to be raised by a literal fucking dog. Fun. But you know, I guess you can't really say much. You just got taxidermied and left in the living room. Nana. Nana. I like her. She's good. I'm gonna go like higher up in, in like, oh, right there. Okay. Just cause she's like, she seems like a very nice, kind old lady, you know? In the same way Jane is just like average teenage girl, Nana Sprite is, well, just Nana. Nana is just, you know, average grandma. <laughs> she's kind of a grandma. Average, nice old lady. Dad Bert. Dad, okay, top Dad tier. Dad Bert, run, run free. Yep, and the fact he that he's the only normal fucking parent in the entire goddamn thing, I swear to god. And he survives. He survives! Well, Crocker version does. Egbert's well, dad yeah. is, is yeah. dead. The dad of right. all time. Exactly. Right, like, right. Also, that scene where he punches out of prison is... I won't say it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he's a little... You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. Calliope! I'm kind of mad that it, it took us this long to get to her. I love Calliope. She is baby girl. Baby girl. She is leader baby girl. Leader baby talking? girl. Yeah, look, I just there put it there go. for a second. I was thinking. I was thinking. Okay, gold mage, this is too intense for me right now. Your universe has words. I don't want that. Mother is a cute song. We'll do that one. Piano. Okay, Calliope. So, earlier... Age of, what was that like two hours ago now? We mentioned her twin brother. Three hours ago. Three hours ago, Jesus Christ. Uh, we mentioned her twin brother, Caliborn. The two of them are counterparts, each representing a side to fandom. Caliborn being the shitty ones who are just there to hate watch and be mean and cruel and try to force people to draw them porn, basically. Calliope being the, the sweet peas, you know. The, the majority of fandom who's just there to enjoy the content and make their own little little fan arts fanfics and universes and have a fun time chatting mm -hmm. and theorizing the creative side if you will hence being a muse um so i love her she's sweet and got murdered very quickly and was forced to go to drastic measures in certain circumstances but we're talking about normal little sweet pea calliope right now so she'll be in baby girl Lots. I, again, I've just been rambling, but then again, this is my stream, so I'll do what I want. I mean, you have the power. I have the power I, and the control. I think I'm reaching the part of the night where I'm just... <laughs> She's just sweepy. You can just listen to me ramble. Mina! Okay. Mina, 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 Mina. What to say about her? Mina um, is... A, I have complicated feelings about Mina. Yeah. I'm gonna put her in no thanks, I think. Yeah. She's cool, does important shit. But she's But she's also pretty mean. Yeah, she's bitchy and mean. Which isn't like a crime or anything, but <laughs> Yeah, cool character would stay away in real life. Exactly. I just her theme song's really good too. Never really cared about yeah. Mina, yeah. There was that one point where she was like starting to do some character development with with dead Vriska and then she just said actually fuck this and then undid all of it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Which sucks. Latula. I don't know if I'd put her into girl boss necessarily, but she's also not really baby girl. So I guess I'll put her in boss baby next to her uh, boyfriend. <laughs> but, nice. Because she's a gamer girl stereotype who is just kind she's kind and not mean like the others <laughs> very nice to her boyfriend um super sick rides a skateboard which is cool she's a, yeah. a skater girl yeah the least problematic dance ancestor exactly it's a gamer girl mm. she's like soda. wendy yeah she is she's very like wendy if wendy had access to a ps5 <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mulan, Mulan's baby girl, I'd say. Yeah. Where's baby girl? Uh, maybe like there, because even though she's kind of in her evil girl era because of Kurlaz, like in general, she's still just a romantic at heart, you know. 
Yep. The only normal dance ancestor, exactly. The rest of them are little freaks. <laughs> Dude, I swear my vocal cords are getting so rough. But I'm finishing yeah, this, we're yeah. so close! I've been yelling too much, let me have another cough drop. Play Gamer Girl? Oh god, I'm... You're right, but... Also, I don't feel like that. I'll put on Phantasma Youngsters instead. This used to be my <gasps> ending theme! Y'all remember those days? The ending soon song. Now it's just generic Oh, lo yeah! I don't remember now. I always stopped it partway through because it was too long. Rufio! Rufio! This is the tragic. <laughs> we should have had a tragic category. I feel like a lot of people would just go in there then. Ah, yeah, is, is a lot of kind of baby girl? I feel like Rufio's kind of baby girl. Baby girl. Yeah, a little bit baby girl. But again, we don't really get to see him do anything, the Dance Buster version at least. Mm -hmm. You know? He is baby girl. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad the Rufio expert agrees. <laughs> yes, baby girl. I may not know everything about him, but I clocked him on vibes alone. <laughs> um Damara? Girl boss for sure. Uh she speaks in Japanese the whole time, but it's all words of girl bossery, I'm sure. Maybe when I said Damara. It's uh and it's very raunchy, Ooh. whatever she's saying. Gamzy! <laughs> okay. Oh dear. You know what? Let's not do him yet. Let's, let's start with Tavros. That's a bit of a, a slower ball. Uh, hey Tavros. Post rambling Discord about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be married here. You're literally insane. Okay, Tavros is also baby girl, for sure. Mm hmm. Because he's just. He's kind of just a little guy. I know that mm -hmm. I made this for like animals and etc kind of thing but a lot about Tavros is just a little guy so he's kind of gonna go in here anyway he'll go right next to his <laughs> Lucis because look he, he, has, he was raised by a little guy yeah, therefore he's, he's a little guy he's tried so hard to move beyond and become more than a little guy and he kind of did it post death in the go like in the dream bubbles and fighting Lord English but he can't escape the vibes the chill vibes the baby girl vibes just a little guy vibes. He's a little bit baby girl still, but just a little guy mostly. Um, Pollux, that's another softball. We're, we're saving some of the more interesting conversations for later. Um, Pollux. Pollux is a mm, boss baby or maybe girl boss? I mean, he's really defeatist for a lot of it and doesn't do much. I say boss baby. Yeah. He might have been girl boss if he didn't spend half his time alive being like, there's no point anyway, I'm, we're doomed, you know? Yeah. I'll put him... I feel, it feels wrong putting him below Liv Tyler. <laughs> I think that'll do it. Okay. Um, Jake English. Ooh. No, that's... Look, that's a lot. <laughs> Talking Ooh. about him is gonna be a lot. John! That, there's a lot of damn... It, there's a lot of stuff to unpack there. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack in that. Hey, John. Um, that's kind of boss baby, I think. Yes, I I fully I, agree I, on I that. He's kind of boss baby. He might... He's below Liv Tyler, though, for sure. Mm -hmm. He didn't really step up. He's yeah. really bad it's... at stepping up. Even when it was finally his time during the... um the retcon section. He was just following Therese's lead the whole time. Yeah. Ooh, that kind of makes it more baby girl. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to... Wet cat category. Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> For Jake. Oh, my God. Well, if there was a wet cat ca category... Uh, Dirk would have to go he'll... in it. <laughs> yeah. He's Is that why I like him? Is because I have a, a lot cat. of wet cat, He's a wet cat. Uh, favorites. Yeah, that'd do it. That'd do it. Um, we'll do Terezi because okay. we all know where she's going. Yeah. Get her up there. No, put her, put her in rent free. Rent free, that's true. That's true. Because we've she's been talking there. about her this whole time. <laughs> we have time. not stopped talking about Terezi, it's true. <laughs> like, we said so much about her that I, I don't think. We don't even have, we have nothing else to say. I mean, there is more to say, but I, I don't want to. Look, it's been, what, over three hours now. <laughs> <laughs> My two hour stream ass can't keep going. <laughs> Yep. Terepi rises. It's your girl, Terepi Pipes. Coming at ya. <laughs> I got Starbucks today. <laughs> anyway, difficult to end for Rose. Okay, uh, who do we want right. to do first? Do you want to do Gamzy or Jake first? Gamzy. Gam Gam. 
The Gamgee? Oh, wait, let's get... He's a bit difficult. Is he a no thanks? Or maybe a blah? I'm thinking a blah. I'm thinking a blah. He's gonna go, like, there. Well, I think he has to go above bro, because bro hasn't actually killed a person. True. Abused, yes. But he's also kind of, because I feel like, okay, even when he was high off his ass and chill, Karkat, I feel like, was probably treading on eggshells as his Moirel, trying to keep him calm anyway. Yeah. And then it only got worse on the meteor when he couldn't, you know, get his troll weed anymore. <laughs> And started flipping out on everybody in a murderous rampage. But like, he's also kind of funny. I think it's, it's a similar thing to Briscoe, where like, he's crazy and weird and bad. But, for the lulls though. <laughs> like watching <laughs> Caliborn absolutely lay into him with the fucking, I don't know what kind of gun it was. I don't know anything about guns, but it's an automatic rifle of some kind. Just pumping him full of lead multiple times, but the clown just won't stay down. <laughs> he... <clears throat> Kamzi won't die, not, e not even in the... in the he just walks epilogue and yeah, in the homestuck too. He walks around with his stupid little hood and his stupid fake wings and his stupid goddamn cod piece the whole time, and it's awful. He should have stayed... He should have stayed in the fridge. For God, lock him back in there and toss him in the sea, please. We have to, he's going to a redemption arc. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck, put him back. Put him back in the fridge. Ooh, sober and high games are different categories. That's true, that's true. Forgot about that thing with Caliborn. No, it's so funny. Hussey's like antagonizing him the whole time. Like, Caliborn, come on, he's supposed to be your clown guide. Stop being mean to him. He's like, no, he's giving me a weird look. Ba 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 ba. I love Homestuck. Oh, Moonsetter. Oh my god. I'm starting again. Starting soon, some. Okay. Jake. Jake, 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 okay. Jake, 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 English, Jake, English. Ooh. Jake really Baby is girl? the pagiest page to ever page. He did not even start realizing his potential until Homestuck 2. Like, not even the epilogues. He's still getting he's railed like, from but, all but, sides like, in the epilogues. Kind of, he's still trying to get there in, the, in Homestuck 2, though. Yeah, he's still not even there yet. He's just no. finally decided to try. <laughs> To attempt. Oh my god. He is something else, this kid. This kid who, honestly, I feel like if he had the choice, he would have just stayed in that little tower of his and just sat there. And maybe cried. Probably cried, too. Yeah. I, I feel a little bad because, I don't know if you remember earlier, as you can you're just here for the ride, just listening to us ramble. Mostly me ramble. <laughs> yeah. But there was an aforementioned love, like, crazy love triangle. And... Jake had nothing and everything to do with it. He It wasn't his fault, but both his besties, so Jane right here and Dirk up here are fucking crazy in love with him. And his other bestie, Roxy, is also like a little bit, but she's willing to back down because obviously she's besties with the other two. And that's why she's the best. <laughs> because mm -hmm. she's a reasonable human being. These two are like... I, I don't, I'm not getting into it, but it's a wild situation where Jake just feels helpless as shit and, like, makes him shut down because he sucks. <laughs> he yeah, doesn't suck. Me. I do like him. I do like Jake. But it, it is frustrating to watch him be willfully ignorant just because he doesn't want to hear what his friends are saying. He doesn't like the answer. He, he's a... He doesn't like, he's bad at confrontation, yeah. so he will pretend to not see it. Yeah, he, he will say, oh, my friend Jane was very obviously trying to confess to me, but kind of chickened out a little bit. I will cling to that and then insist after that, oh, good thing that we're just pals, so that she kind of feels like she can't say it. I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of... Mm, <laughs> mm. Base call for doing that is the only uh, good thing he's done. Which I don't even. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so late to that comment. I don't know what you're talking about, Fr. Oh my God, Kira! Hi. What time is it for you right now? Is it like 7 a.m.? I don't remember. <laughs> Motivational coach might actually work for Jack. Jack? Jack? Jack Morrison? Jack. Overwatch? Get off my lawn. <laughs> Seven? Oh my God, I'm a genius. Um, well, some guy well his motivational yeah, like his his motivational coach is literally a brain ghost Dirk now. Yeah, brain ghost Dirk is the best version of Dirk, the only yeah. good Dirk. <laughs> Every other version sucks ass. 
Probably because it's been influenced by Jake's idea of Dirk as like some weird knight in shining armor. Anyway, mm -hmm. been a while, sorry. Kira, don't apologize. I stream at such a weird time for you. <laughs> I'm shocked you were here at all. New model, kind of. This is a um, very niche Homestuck model that I'm using just because it's a Homestuck stream. And I, I will use for anything Homestuck related in the future. But mostly I will still be using the ME one. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, Jake. I mean, he's gonna go in Baby Girl. Yeah. Simply because of the, the helpless vibes. But I feel like a lot about what made Jake look is that everything is backing him into a corner too, which didn't help. Cause like every friend having a crush on him, like he didn't ask for that. His arrow ace ass did not ask for that. No. No, no, no. <laughs> How no, many? No, no, well, no. I just finished categorizing them. So I don't know if you want to count. This isn't even completely inclusive. This is missing a bunch. <laughs> oh, but it's God. the most inclusive so far. I don't know, I'll download, I'll download the picture, the, um, ranking, and I'll put it in the Discord afterwards, but... Jesus Christ, we're done! Yay! Riska. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe that took so fucking long. It took three hours! <laughs> that Wait, is crazy! Three hours and twenty minutes now. Let me yep. zoom out a bit. Nope, that still doesn't fit at all, okay. <laughs> okay. Now? Nope. Nope. <laughs> More. Oh my fucking god. There you can't even go. tell what I'm you can't even tell what you're looking at anymore. <laughs> That's all of them. <laughs> there they are, guys. Can't you tell who it is? Let me scroll down a little bit so that it's on screen. There we go. <clears throat> that I, I, how do you even end a stream like this? I don't know. I'm just apologizing. Here. Yeah, I'm sorry that I trapped you guys here. <laughs> Especially Ashley for, I don't know, how long were you here? Like half an hour or something? Probably an hour. An know. hour? Oh my I was, god! I was drawing, I was drawing while listening That's to true. you this guys. This is basically so. like a video essay. <laughs> yeah. Put, th put that in the title. <laughs> yeah. Listen while you're drawing. <laughs> so mostly me <laughs> and then Kat just being like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because listen, you I'm so bad at giving my opinions to things. <laughs> I just bulldozed through so you. Bad. I'd say sorry, no, but I, I know that it's a joint effort here. <laughs> no, because here's the thing. I, I'm so... I can, like, say, for example, you give me Jake, I would be like, baby girl, why? I don't know. I, I don't know. What, you want me to explain what I feel? Nah, bro. Nah, Not happening. bro. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm really... I'm so bad at explaining things. This is why I can't write... This is why I did bad in English class. <laughs> Did you join at the end? What do you mean, what, Kira? It's been over three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I feel a little bad that you can't come, but also the time zones just ain't working in your favor, kid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Average heart player, Lomo. <laughs> and then my breath player ass just rambling until the fucking world explodes. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, me? I don't know. I guess so. Let, 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 I mean, that's such a hard player of me. As soon as I hear something about me, I'm like, me? Huh? huh? Me? Huh? <laughs> Moi? <laughs> God, honestly. This is... I can't even, like, look at this. There's too much happening. Look at how many there are. This... This is breaking my brain right now. I've never realized how many Homestuck characters there There's are. More, There's more, apparently. There's more. There's more. That's actually crazy. There's so many. I mean, I don't know. These are the ones that matter. And even then, you can see that there's like a bunch that don't really, because these are the ones that are just like, eh, they didn't really do anything. But, um... Because, like, mm -hmm. most of the things is that, is that, uh, it's variations of the same character. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot of, like, timeline shenanigans. Yeah. And et cetera. But I'm trying to think if there's mm -hmm. anything I want to. I don't I have nothing to say. <laughs> I I'm like I'm spent, bro. This is the only thing I yeah. did today, and I'm, I'm my brain is fried. This is too much. Well, yeah, because it required a lot more thought. Thank so you. So much thought. All right, you know what? For the for the ending, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to just chatting. Oh, uh oh, you're seeing my broken underside. Can you guys? Can you tell that this is the free version? I don't have legs. My arms also aren't finished. <laughs> they just cut off. 
Oh, I still have the set list up. Shut up. Shut it. VTube Studio, come here. We're gonna change the model back. Oh my god, there's two songs playing right now. Sorry, hold on. I'll fix it in a second. I'm bringing my, my real face. Well, the face that matters <laughs> and is recognizable. Technically, the Homestuck model is closer to the real face. Okay. Here we go. Firefox. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep the Homestuck music playing. <gasps> Shut that off. Okay, there we go. Hi, I'm back. I got to 86. Halfway through. What are you talking about? Oh, were you counting them? Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Who? Lucid. Dude, you're late. I can't believe you. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. Go to sleep. <laughs> you joined right at the end, Lucid. <laughs> I'd tell you to watch the VOD, but I don't know if you can sit through all that. <laughs> this song is still going. It's a banger, but like, God damn, it's so dramatic. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tune to game. Well, that's kind of poggers so. though. All right. As much as I'd love to chat like usual, my voice is kind of screaming. So you should keep chatting about the game you got into though. But like in the Discord, which speaking of, if you're new here and haven't been to the Discord, there's a link in the description. Feel free to come by. That's where I post all of my stream updates. And also just, I don't know, garbage. <laughs> I just chat there sometimes. I'll be around to answer questions and such. But for now, that's, this song is the incorrect one. It, whatever, who cares? I'm just going to finish. Uh, it's goodbye for now. I'll be back on Wednesday, probably playing Overwatch because the new update. Venture is coming out and they are sick as fuck. And they also eat rocks, which is cool. Also, there's some Mercy Mystic. That is so cool. Anyway, but that's for the future. For now... It's going to be bedtime. Kira, it was nice seeing you again. It's been a billion years since the last... Uh, I'm probably going to do a Genshin stream uh, next week on Wednesday. Not not this coming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. Because that's when um, that's when the nave comes out. Arlequino and when the new area... <sighs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's besides the point. That's just, uh, uh, she's so pretty. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm done. Uh, I love you. Goodbye. Hi, Lucid. Nice seeing you. Barfman, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. FR. I, honestly, even though you're the only other, like, true homestuck here, I'm shocked you sat through all three hours. <laughs> Bye, Safrika. It was nice to see you around. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Goodbye. Yes, say goodbye, everybody. Okay.